Don't you know that parents know and feel every time the kid, your kids can be at their fucking auntie house in Michigan and you know when they fucking up. Yeah. If you get that call, guess what your son did? I knew the motherfucker did something. I knew it. I felt it this morning because I got up and I said, he going to do something today. He been gone three days. He going to do something. Shit been going too good. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, with the mother kids and grown ups. Yeah. On that shit. And I brought y'all a gift too. I brought y'all some gifts too. Let me give you Shit, we want them. Yeah, How they don't never get nothing? Man, I got man, you. Hey, Santa, Santa Claus shit. is here, nigga. Uh, <laughs> you motherfucking Lil Flip is Santa Claus. Hey, I brought y'all. Lil Flip is Santa Claus. Some gas guards. You know what I'm saying? Bring, bring the, the, I brought you some exotic products. I need cups. some gas cards. I be getting Uber all the time. Gods, gods, man, yeah. gods. Oh. Oh. I, you know, I know you don't, you don't smoke. You, you do the incredible edible, but. Yeah, we need it. I brought y'all exotic pop and I brought y'all some of my strain. It's called Sunshine. Okay. Oh, I want some. And I brought you. Oh, I definitely want some. My hoes, they like. Are you got hoes? Yeah, Bro, don't hoes. listen to Jay. Make them, make, make them dress up like, like Mrs. Clyde. Mi that, that's what I want to do. Yeah. We're putting all this shit I'm about to provide. on the table. I'm, I'm about yeah. to be a provider. Hey. Thank you. This, I got you a box. Uh, you, you open it and like. Thank I'm you, man. bro. I ain't no, have no idea. That's all to the G, man. Oh, you know. man, that's that's lush. Yeah, we in there, man. You know. I, I said I might I might as well name my strain. Come on, man. After my biggest record, so my biggest record is Sunshine. So you know, give your hoes. You know, tell us tell us tell us smoke some sunshine, bro. He don't smoke. Give him my weed back, Jack. Get he said he gonna give it to his hoes. I don't I don't care nothing. You don't about care about them hoes. Them hoes. <laughs> They not used to good shit anyway. They fuck with him. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah. Tell them hoes get. They don't get, get shit, song. Jack. Don't be. Don't be coming up hey, here. Hey, they hey. gonna see the video. I'm like, hey, Carlos took your shit. Yeah, I don't fucking split nothing with Jack. Fuck him. Okay. <laughs> that nigga got, he cut me out the deal when he was on. He ain't hit me. Ah. Uh, my, my, hey, my deal was fake. Uh, come on, I, I come bro. from the days, yeah. days of studio gangsters. Nah. Why you ain't help your guy? Nah. I had nothing. He lying, With exotic pop in Houston, I had nothing. I got your exotic. It's in that nothing. purple bag. I don't want the show to start until I got my exotic pop, bro. Give him a shit. <laughs> Give him a shit, bro. And you know I can't drink blue on TV. I don't want all that criticism. I do. I use I drink it. We'll can use I get blue some? For, huh, you want some, Jack? Can I get some blue? Yeah. It's Somebody good. bring me some ice so we can celebrate royalty. Hey, oh, oh, this ain't lean though, right? Nah. Okay. It's just some shit you ain't never had before. Okay. That's why it's exotic. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. J-O-N, you, you trying to make me go off one time? We got Flip in here, bro. You know, he like the freestyling shit. They be coming on here, they don't be wanting to freestyle, Flip. <laughs> I mean, they ain't about it. This ain't the basement, this the living room. This is really the trap house though. I take your bitch to Waffle House and let her get whatever she need. Told her I'm gonna be in the car, chilling, rolling up some weed. She say, ooh wee, it's gonna be like a few minutes. I'm gonna chill and let you go cause you need to just go up in it. Make sure that you get some serve and some pancakes, but they don't even sell them at the Waffle House, you damn flake. Me and Lil Flip, we might just flip the script and do some shit you never seen before. Never seen before. Got a bitch that like to clean the floor and clean the floor. And a family, they from Singapore. Come on. Used to buy velour. Then I maxed out. Then I caught my agent. She got waxed out. Mm. Wax on, like Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. Sipping Patron. It's a Miyake, yeah. I like to smell like that. I don't fuck with a lot of rappers, cause when they slide, they like to tell like that. Yeah. yeah. It's black magic, I cast a spell like that. Mm -hmm. I'm from the streets, I got them books, I went to yell like that. Whoa. Yeah. Sip sir, moving like a snail like that. Come on. I mean, they all garbage, garbage pills like that. They don't care about their bars, they just rap about the bars and yeah. the perks. They ain't trying to go to work. I go berserk. I'm a hot boy, but my name ain't Turk. Yeah. I shoot like dirt. Turn this bitch to wide earth. They soft as nerfs. Got the walk and active as serve. And everywhere I go, I got my double cup. 
They sipping fake drink, that's why they got bubble guts. Mm. They on the toilet like every five minutes. Man, ass all of them. I spent a hundred five with my dentist. Hey. Jack fuck with Michael Jackson. I fuck with Michael Blackson. Mm -hmm. If a nigga from out of town, he wants some pounds, I gotta tax him. Yeah. But you come back, don't be on no bull like you paxing. Yeah. yeah. I get the cash, I go to Dallas and fuck with action. Yeah. And then I'm at the other place. Shot him in his other face. Mm. Called up my lawyer and told him, throw away the other, other case. case. <laughs> Paid him 5000 and I took my niggas out of jail. My soul, it ain't for sale. Smoke that gargamel, let's do yeah. shit. Slow it down, screw shit. Some of my niggas red and some of my niggas blue shit. Some mm. of my niggas put them on a mega bus. Some of my niggas flu shit. Man, I just murder every beat. I guess I rate Karoo shit. Wow. When it come to freestyling, I told you I'm the king, though. Stars in my ceiling, I'm looking up, I feel like Ringo. Ain't no Chris Gringo, ain't no Santa Claus. These niggas, they too old. They going through menopause. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Hey, tell Santa Claus tell for Christmas, bring some new drawers. Hurry. And don't you ever leave me undetended with Mrs. Claus. Okay. Because I'm going to have her going crazy, make her my lady. Mm -hmm. And she'll be sending presents to all her side babies. Okay. Don't that sound crazy? crazy? The way I just said it. Said it. I'm on pump six. Six? So let me get seven. Okay. Dollars and two swishers. I'm still that nigga. I get $10 worth of gas, nigga, just because it's Christmas. Okay. Okay. Don't get caught slipping at the stove. Don't do After it. After dark, that's one place I never go. You smart. <laughs> <laughs> Real nigga shit. 85 South Show is me and Jack and Lil Flip. Yeah. 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 You fucking went to King Gus yeah. School of Click. Double cuffed Double up like cup. somebody had twins around this bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about time. I had to call some people that knew some people. Okay. That went to school with somebody. Yeah. That sat by this girl. Yeah. Who used to draw real good. Who had moved to Houston in first grade. First grade. Who was best friends with your cousin's down the street neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I made this shit happen. That's how hard it is to get in touch with the Freestyle King. Lil Flip. Hey. Yeah! Hey. What's up, my guy? Bro, nah, how you doing, man? We done all Gotta been have. excited that you coming through, bro. We drinking exotic pop. We gotta fix your cups, though, bro. We, you yeah, Jack, you drink. He drink you drinking wrong. Uh, yeah, you got the wrong cups, okay. man. Come on, man. You know, black on business, man. You know, shout out to my partner. He, he not you. I told you when you first said it. He not used to. I got exotic pop for y'all. So give me that purple like bag. Oh, oh, I, I got cans for y'all too. I would. I would like some cans. Yeah, yeah and I got popcorn. I brought. I brought gifts for y'all, man. I appreciate I would, yeah. this shit. If you don't mind. Yeah, I brought gifts, man. Yeah. Hold it tight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I brought, I brought gifts, man. I got okay. you. Come on, man. This is what I do. My own popcorn. Oh, man. You Leprechaun. know what the fuck I thought this was. I said, you thought it was a real that, nigga. You thought that was that shit. brought me a pound. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's you, my guy. That's crazy. Oh, I got excited. I don't, I don't never get nothing. Up. Man. Jack. Man, this some heavy ass popcorn, bro. For real. Exotic popcorn. Man, thank soda. you, bro. No problem. You know. Oh, that shit. Santa Claus little flip. You know. That shit hitting, bro. We're gonna lay all these we items out, bro. You are hell of a man. Yeah, exotic popcorn. You market in your ass. These, these the new right premium now. cans. The cream soda line, peach cream, vanilla. See, a lot of people, they ain't know I was one of the owners of Exotic Pie. See, some businesses you put your name on, and some you you, you get back like a, a ninja and your yoga flame on. Now look here, we gotta make sure we got the contact information. We need all this shit at the new studio. That's fine. Here I am. Hell yeah. New face, you see this? These ain't, these are the new shit. This ain't even in the store yet. Yeah. We need some more space. We putting <laughs> shit all over the place. It's all good. Welcome man. to the trap, little Flip. Thank you First very much. Foremost. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, exotic pop is delicious, man. Black on. Bruh, Definitely. that freestyle was fucking nuts, man. Ah, uh, we was just, we was just bullshit. They, both of y'all are so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I had like one bar. What you wanted what to say? You, this is what I was gonna uh -oh, do. Uh -oh. <laughs> y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. I'm a shit talker. I don't know what I'm talking about. Bitch, I'm Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. See what I did? I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> 
Her you walk be it. saying a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Cause look, if we want people to get into this erection, Man. we got to be stars. We got to be most selective about how we masturbate. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like people who come outside between 1 a.m. and 6 p.m. are the real problems in sociality. Man. If you spit in the sky, it'll fall in your eye. Everybody know that. <laughs> Now, one thing we got to do is we got to get these knives off the street. That's the first person to say that shit. We got to get these knives off the street. Who the fuck knew that knives was the problem? Yeah, I saw some shit. Nobody going to ever admit to voting for that motherfucker, though. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. They got Q-tips, but they don't have navel tips. Because there's a lot of things that's inside of your navel that need to be you know what I'm saying? Wipe that. Bro, I'm really, like, I've been watching, like, the elections and shit real yeah. close now. I'm starting to figure out something. What? It's more stupid people in America than we ever thought it was. It's oh, a yeah. sign of the times. It's the state of the union. Definitely. Yeah. The, the, he's a reflection of what we are right now. I don't think that's a representation of me, but I'm saying as a society, I think stupid No, we're people. the smart people. What if we the dumb ones, though? <laughs> Jack, what we if, the dumb ones if we don't think that they the, they the smart ones. What if we just too stupid to really hear what he's really saying? Like, what if we that dumb? Like, I, think about I, I all think them. think we the geniuses, bro. We ain't, we ain't that dumb. You, know you already saying? said you was a genius. I'm talking about me and Jack. Yeah, y'all geniuses too. Look, this how, is this how I look at it. Look at it. Okay, bet. A lot of people brainwashed. I don't knock nobody that working nine to five to each his own, right? But what you're doing you're making your own schedule. You're doing what you got to do. So, so my, my motto was this. I ain't never want to be the richest person. I just wanted to make more money than the average person. So if you're able to make more money than the average person, get more things and resources free right. than the average person, you know what I mean, go to bigger and better events and be around famous people than right. the average person, if, if your life is upgraded, she, you're a motherfucking genius because you didn't fall victim to of just just wanting to do what they told you to do. You you did you did that and you you thought outside the box. You right. know what I mean? So was it nah, you, you you was genius. When when it look, what people do? At the fork in the road, what people do? They go left or right, right? Right. Nigga, I go straight. Right. You you walk through the fork. Yeah, so that's you that's what y'all doing. Right. Yeah, y'all walk through the fog, man. Y'all already walking and talking, man. Barefoot. Y'all got views, hoes, With and new shoes. With short pants on, Jack. Yeah. A little bit so of So y'all are geniuses. In Spanish, El Hino. El Hino. See, yeah. that's some genius shit to yeah. know that. I ain't even never known they, said they calling each other geniuses. Yeah, that's, what we, that's how we spoke. Yeah, we supposed to be. We got to be able to communicate, man. man I, I see, that's saying, what I be trying to tell people when they the ask for advice. It's like, bro, sometimes you just got to let go. And if you survive the roughest parts of your journey, like the not knowing, the, the eviction notice, the, you know, the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations from having and not having, learning how to manage your shit. Yep. It ain't nothing that no, no advice nobody can give you it can like prevent you from having to go through this shit so you can learn it your fucking self. It's kind of like this with me. My dad, like, I, I credit him as one of the smartest people I know. That's why I think move like I move. So a lot of shit he taught me when I was young, even my grandpa as well, because he was in the military. Just the things that they taught me when I was young, when I would start, start seeing it, like a, when yeah. I became an adult in like middle school and just even elementary, I'd be like, oh, that's that shit he was talking about. I know what to do, you know what I mean? And um, so that's, that's how I was able to, to maneuver in the streets as well as in the music industry because I just believe, you know, you show respect and, and um, you'll get it. You, yeah, and you, and you treat people that actually, you know, put their life on the line or help put money in your pocket. You don't treat people like licks. You yep. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, so every promoter, or every artist that fuck with me and buy something from me, nigga, I tell them thank you. And I make sure that you straight, you got your pictures, da 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 da. And then I go, it's a lot of artists, you book them, they ain't finna talk to the promoter. Yeah. They ain't getting out the truck. If the promoter, nigga, Four hundred dollars short or a hundred dollars short, nigga. He driving a, a nigga, yeah, nigga, go drive out. <laughs> you know how nah, it be, man. Yeah, but nah, the way Big West raised me, man. Nah, man, we ain't gonna let no four hundred dollars, no nothing like that. They remember that shit if you on your way down yeah, too. Yeah, they remember. It. When yeah. you was up nigga, there asking for that seventy five thousand, yeah, and now you back here seventy five hundred. Hey, they remember, and they and, and and they'll tell you they be like, hey, nigga, 
you gave me a discount last time, nigga. Guess what? I'm on now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's people I didn't help when they was in fucked up situations right. and, and gave them discounts and seen them years later. And nigga, like, right. look, nigga, you see this Maserati, nigga, that song we did, nigga, this how I got it. And, and that's a true story. It's a nigga in Indiana, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I did a verse with him. Next time I saw him, nigga, he bounced up and he's like, nah, nigga, I can pay you 20 for you, you know what I mean? And so. All right, hey, guess what? January the 27th, I will be in Phoenix, Arizona. That's right, buddy, at the Celebrity Theater. It's going down January the 27th in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, yeah. It's 8 o'clock, black people time. You've got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything you need on your grocery list easily delivered. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Every time you place an order for pickup or delivery, you're setting off a chain reaction that helps give back to the people who make your neighborhood unique. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. With DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love too. From the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved because with DoorDash, there's a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to $20 value and zero delivery fee when you download the DoorDash app and enter our code 85South2023. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fee when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code 85SOUTH2023. Don't forget, that's 85SOUTH2023 for 50% off to up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to chain and term apply. These these shirts are real nice right here. And stretchable. Get you one. Made in America. <laughs> Made right here in America. And you know what? You can get head right in the shirt. You can put it right over her head. <laughs> you tell him, Randy. Put it right over her head and you, woo The shirt is amazing. If you don't get the shirt, don't even bother calling up here at 92 a.m. Rebel Radio. What station? 92 a.m. Rebel Radio. And you better say it just like it. Home of the greatest music ever, buddy. And don't you ever get it fucked up. Let's sing them a song. If you don't get no t-shirt, don't call up Rebel Radio. And then you be like, bro, you funny. Yeah, it's 59, but I take the toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 50 now. Yeah. I don't give away. Last year, we were 50. For real? Nah, but that shit do, it is a good feeling, though, to know that, that you bring money through that town. When you come through, you a big event, and people gonna come and support. And spread it around. Spread that shit around. Spread it around. Like who? That's value. Who, yeah, who who to bring the DJ, and instead, instead of just paying the DJ a flat fee, nigga, I, I empower them on some shit. Like back in the days, and like currently, like instead of me just being like, hey, let me just pay you 500 or, you know, 800 to DJ for two hours or three hours. Nah, nigga, I'm for, nigga, we finna go in on the dough. Nigga, I'm finna give you a percentage of the dough. So instead of you eating, you know, five hundred dollars, nigga, you can make you three, four bands, nigga. Right. And, you know, come and, back and, two and, weeks and yeah. get this motherfucker yourself. Because when a DJ or a person like helps blow your record up and get everybody just fucking with your shit, nigga, that's that's priceless. So yep. I always believe in showing love to the people who help get me where I'm at. Nigga, I'm a, hey, I'm gonna show you I appreciate it, nigga. It's some people that just heard what you just said and they trying to understand exactly what you mean when you say that. Now you, are you doing that with any DJ or this is DJs that have the imprint the, inside these whatever are, the... These are people I have relationships with and people that I noticed that deserve the opportunity. You know, because as, as we travel, you know, we, we see people grow. You go to a town and... Somebody just the guy that goes to the store. And then you come a year later and now he got his own show. And come a year later, now he the PD. And you like, damn, you know what yeah. I mean? And so I watch these people evolve and I, I study energy. And if they energy right, then you know, then I'll take the next next step. Hey, let's make some money together. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna treat you like a boss. I ain't gonna treat you like a, hey, let me just give you 500 and get you out the way. Nah, get a piece of this dough. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And bring some artists that want some verses and get your cut. And nigga, I see you in eight months and we go repeat. I see what you, okay. And eat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause DJs know niggas that's trying to get on. Yeah. And the cycle continues. But I, po I actually post and promote the records that I do with these artists. See, some artists, they'll do the verse, take your money, won't even clear the record, have the shit taken down. Nah, I don't play them games. I believe in doing great business, not good business, great business. So, so nah, nigga, I'ma help, I'ma post this shit, you know what I'm saying, nigga? We go, yeah, I want you to win, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want you to win. And um, I'm gonna give you guidance and direction on what you can do to make the artwork look better, the video, because I care about the quality, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially you go put my name on it with you. Like, we got to be looking like, <laughs> like so, money. Where you get this game from, bro? Everybody. Started? Everybody. I study everybody. DJ Screw, you know what I'm saying? All the moguls from my city. Yeah. Everybody. I'm a sponge. My parents, my household, everybody. So, Let's give me one of your DJ Screw stories. Man, one of my favorite ones, man, um, was like, we was pretty much, um, I actually had got out of school, actually. I had got out of school, and uh, this, this is crazy. <laughs> I got out of school, and so he's like, man, you can try the Impala. So I'm driving the Impala, whatever, and, and we freestyling, right? But Screw don't really rap like that, you know what I mean? He DJ. So we freestyling, we, we, we you know, doing our thing. And uh, <laughs> it's so funny, we pull up to this spot called Timmy Chan's, and, so I get out the car, he said, I'ma drive, I'ma drive. So I go in and go, I go use the restroom and I come back out, he driving. Well, he's in the, in the driver's seat, right? And he like, man, I'ma go use the restroom. Man, he, man, he got out the car and he forgot to put the bitch in uh, park. Man, that motherfucker started rolling, bro. I had to run around that bitch and get it. It, it, was, it was just so funny to me, dog. But <laughs> that's one of the memories that I never told nobody because I usually tell them, about you know me pulling up and him having a back seat full of pulled up knee high uh, sodas, and each one of them I taste I'm like it was like straight mud in the motherfuckers. So that was one of my my favorite moments, but I ain't never told that one. So <laughs> hold on, wait, wait. wait. I always got confused on the mud thing. What does okay. that mean when? What is mud? Mud, <laughs> just like look like his shirt. Pillow, show him your shirt. Show the jacket him your shirt. <laughs> mud babies. <laughs> but mud is just basically when you when you pull up strong. When it's when it's, you know, heavy, it's muddy. Texas. OG lingo. wasn't that sad. Yeah. So you drinking some mud. You know, when it's, you know, when it's He he don't even know. <laughs> he used to have mud slides, obviously. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, bro? Shut Man. That's why you can't bring this nigga around nobody, bro. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Vote it. Vote it the number one black show where a black woman who is head of household pays all the bills. Hey. Shout out to Pam. Lil' Flip, man, what's been going on, man? Tell me how all this shit started. Man, it all started back being born in my family. Yeah. And musical background, church, piano, drum. So you born in my family, you doing music. It wasn't no, it was, you know what I mean? Oh shit, look at the devil. Straight up. Look at the devil. We Cut. rebuke. We Take rebuke. six. Fix the goddamn let me, lights. Let me see my old phone pillar. Demir, you got, okay, there we go. Yeah, we Never good. mind. What the fuck happened? Now, let me see it right quick. Yeah, you good. Not the other one. D. Mill got it. Jack, you saw that? No, I missed it. Where? You ain't see that? He says. As soon as he said that. Oh. Yeah. Talk about church. You know how it go. He, when he said, thank God. On the spot. And that shit real. Them signs that you had to pay attention to. I see what you're you would have think it was just the light going out. Hell no. <laughs> the message is so much clearer than that, Jack. You in tune, bro. 
He said, look at the devil, and it was nothing but red lights. That's what, I, that's that's what I'm saying. Why the red lights ain't go out? <laughs> Man. You ain't see that? That was some Santa Claus, Satan Claus shit. See, man, that's how you know that shit real, bro. But that's just God letting you know he in here protecting us from all type of bullshit, you know? It's nothing. We ready? We back on, we back on deck. Back on deck, We back on deck. Yeah. Joe, what we looking like? Back on deck. All right, man. Lil' Flip, talk your shit. You want me to talk, you want me to rap? Well, Shit, doing. that's just whatever and you we want in to the do. Trap. I had a question. Bring the beat up. You got a question? Ask it. This is my confession. <laughs> Let's talk about the Panthers. The Panthers. Man, I can give you a lot of answers and tell you how I used to move militant. I still move militant. They all stranded like Gilligan. I move a certain way. I groove a certain way. Yeah. Max Payne, two guns, I shoot a certain way. Yeah. <laughs> I sip a certain way, hey. take trips a certain way, bus clips a certain way. All right, Thriller, Illa, rest in peace to Jay Dilla. I'm about my Skrilla, and I pass the flow to you. Carlos Miller, walk in smoother than a panther. Huh. Black, it's a fact. With the fist, take a sip of the good ass drink. Exotic pop, you think that it ain't? Black owned. Let me go check my black phone uh -huh. and make sure got a nice black woman at my black oh, home. Okay. That is black owned once again. Okay. Tell a friend about the shit we about to do again. Grab a booty, rub a cooch, and squeeze a titty. Bitch. And then look her in the face and say she pretty. Hold up. Bitch. I'm spitting game all up in your ear. I've been kicking it up in your face for about a year. I hope that everything's straight and good at your house. I hope you get a side to put up in your mouth. I hope that you get a new bike for Christmas. I hope you and your baby mama start separating your differences hmm. so y'all can parent and yep. keep it apparent that y'all are not good parents. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't want to talk no shit because no, no. I don't want nobody to get in their feelings in this bitch. No well, see, when I be freestyling, I keep it real and it's going to be the last time like a last meal or supper because I'm a bad motherfucker who walking through this bitch like I'm C. Dolores Tucker. Hold on, hey. no. See, I be spitting them facts. facts. And white people can't stand that, but they don't know that I know. They fucking with the show, and this the 85 South show, and my name is Carlos. It's Lil' Flip. Yeah. Had to spit it one time. One time. Hey, spit your shit, cause nigga, that was mine. Hey, <laughs> I spit my shit, bring the beat up. H-Town Air Force Ones, I kick my feet one up. One time. Call a bad bitch, tall a roll the weed up. It's murder, I inked the Vita. Yeah. Yeah. I keep a motherfucking Zotty Pop cup. I make the fucking body rock the truck. I did that shit for Fat Pat. Look, I go to Vegas and I play blackjack. But look, the roulette wheel, I got roulette skills. Double zero, zero are the regular we trill. Yeah, mm -hmm. PMC, we miss my nigga. What up, Bon B? I get the cash, I had to bulletproof the Humvee. Mm, I think I'm Master P. They in my room with the master key. But uh, the double dutch twins, they want to fuck in the bins. Man, I'm shitting on these niggas, I don't need no depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nigga, I'm like Hank Aaron. Give me that whole bag, the bank staring. Mm -hmm. Like you want all of this, like all of this right now? I told her, bitch, pipe down. Yes, sir. You from Mississippi, you from ATL. At the age of 15, I had a gravy 12. Damn. I got the cash and then I dip out. My car go 220. I took the chip out. Mm. I do a show, I bring the bloods and the crips out. Yeah. She come and do my podcast, her nip slips out. Yeah. I don't censor it. I don't mention it. Mm -mm. I just throw a concert and then convention it. Yeah. Exotic pop, here's the punchline. Got my own strain, gas guard, sunshine. Yeah. 85 South Show, I 4 5. Mm -hmm. That's what I used to roll. We blow in dope. Yeah. 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 That's how we live. Woo! He 
can't see. He can't see. He can't see. I'm talking about that. You can't see me now. I'm a shit talker. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm Herschel Walker. Just stick to the script. He can't see you, man. You on his blind side. Was that on time, man? No. He used to see me though. Nah, bro. He got. He used to see me when I when I used to go to this is fifty. He can't see on that side no more. He used to see me better, bro. He got candy in that ad now. Nah, he be eating them edibles, bro. It's the edibles, man. It's candy eyeball. It's a gumball. He chew it every night before he go to bed and put another one. <laughs> Shit be changing, bro. Life be lifing. Straight up. Huh? My nigga life Jack. Be life be hey, life shirt. Hey, just give me, give me my 20%. That's why I people Whenever think that it. I'm such a bad person, because I take that nigga Jack everywhere he ain't supposed to be, man. Come on now. Yeah. I'm a shit talker. I don't know what I'm about. talking about. I'm a Herschel Walker. I'm a shit talker. Mm. But I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm Herschel, Herschel Walker. Walker. I say dumb shit all the time. And you I love to go in the wind like a wind chime. <laughs> hey, man. I don't be telling no niggas, but I drop down. You know, that's one, three, three, four, five, six, dime. seven, eight, ten. Don't drop the dime, man. Jack, relax, man. Okay. Relax, bro. Relax. Don't drop the dime, dog. Jack, just relax. Don't drop the dime. You saw, I, I said I'm going to be stitching, but I dropped the dime because I dropped the dime like it was don't like a real dime. dime on the floor. Don't drop no soap. I, oh, okay. You just don't drop You your mean eye like you broke drop up you with a fine soap. lady? <laughs> was that a metaphor for That's what I meant because I, like, I don't go with her no more. Oh. Okay. Well, you need I don't to be go with her no more. I got to, yeah, I got, I'm working on my double entendres. Yeah, but you got to get to the, you got to stay like, yeah, get the basics Basis down first. first. You see, I need y'all help with this right there, because yeah. you, you the freestyle king, yeah, yeah. And, and, and yo, you the freestyle prince and whatnot. And we, like, I wouldn't say prince, that's like... <laughs> just, I'm, just, I'm the nigga from another village who be doing that shit over there where I stay at. We can, we can I brand this. the woods doing this shit. We can steal I'm this right now. now. I came straight up. I just walked up. Okay. And that, it was like, the music, sir, where'd you get it? <laughs> I just got back from the UK. Exactly. I'm a little bit jet lag. Come here, bring him over here. I want to speak to him. I want to speak to him now. So if I, but if I want to become a great freestyler, Jack, what I got to do, like how to stop lying? Okay, stop lying. It worked better when you tell the truth. Yeah, but uh, but not 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 unless you oh, you got to get good at it. But you, like oh, about ninety percent, ninety percent of these rappers lying. You gotta lie. That's when you get good at rapping. So you gotta. Man, be creative. And sometimes you can rap about things that you don't have, but consider it wishful thinking, but make sure you do get it at some point in your life so it won't be a lie. So, right. so sometimes you speak shit. Manifest. Manifest, but be rap, creative. Rap 99% about what you got and manifest 1%. Right. It worked better when you keep it inside Peter yourself. Peter of the mind. You can't see, you can't see you go dab me up? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. I told you, man. I apologize. You was on my blind side. <laughs> hey, what's up? How you doing? It's your man Carlos Miller. Did you know? Did you know that January the 28th, I'll be in San Diego at the Balboa Theater? Did you know that? Because it's true. I will be at the Balboa Theater January the 28th in San Diego. So grab those tickets and come on out. Oh yeah, we'll be at the Balboa Theater. It's gonna go crazy. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller. It's four NFL teams, two conference championship game, and only a few more shots to win big on the playoffs with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Counting down to Super Bowl 57, new customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Not a new customer? You can feel the conference championship thrills with stepped-up same-game parlays. Take your shot at an even bigger NFL payout and boost your winnings with each leg you add up to 100%. Download DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code 85SOUTH. New customers can bet $5 on the conference championship and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code 85SOUTH. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, crisis counseling and referral services can be accessed by calling 1-800-GAMBLER. 1-800-426-2537 in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Wyoming. 1-800-NEXT-STEP in Arizona. 1-800-522-4700 in Colorado and New Hampshire. 888-789-7777. Visit http forward slash forward slash ccpg.org slash chat. Connecticut. 1-800-BETS-OFF. Iowa. 1-877-770-STOP. Louisiana. 877-8-H-O-P-E-N-Y. Text HOPE NEW YORK. 
for New York. Visit opgr.org, Oregon. Call text Tennessee Redline 1-800-889-9789, Tennessee, or 1-888-532-3500 for Virginia. 21 plus, 18 plus, Wyoming, physically present in Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Louisiana, West Virginia, Virginia, Wyoming, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee. Only minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See HTTP, DraftKings.com, Sportsbook for details. Here we go. February 3rd through the 5th, 2023, Summit City Comedy Club in Fort Wayne, Indiana. This shit far as a fucking way, but I'm still doing them. February 24th through the 26th, I'll be at the Improv in Dania, Florida. Where the fuck is that? I don't know, but I'll be there. March 4th, Variety Playhouse in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh shit, I got some Atlanta shows, nigga. We here, the squad coming out for that one. Two shows at the Variety Playhouse. That sounds like a strip club. They got me working at the strip club? <laughs> fuck it, I'ma do it. All right, there we go. All right, last, April 8th, 2023, I will be at the Mirage in Las Vegas. I'm back at the Mirage, man. Sold that bitch out the last time y'all came out. We gonna do it again, the Mirage. I had a suit on and all that, and my shit still was like this. I had, to, I had to put it on the you don't other side. Have to, you don't have to keep trying, bro. He he gets, hey, just he, say Jack, I'm dapping you. Say he Jack, I'm dapping you. Okay, Give so I, I got to telegraph the dap. You got to. <laughs> that's like me trying to telegraph my raps. No. I got you. I'm dapping you. See? But, but why we got Why you do the two hands? I sh- I, that I'm nigga so, secure. He got a bodyguard with his dap. The nigga's shackled in I tried to take it. I, I, I was I, trying to I, make it connect. We gonna salute. Trust Let's salute. Nothing. Nigga. All right, cool. From the blind side. I'm trying to tell you. That's my bro, though, man. All he right. always been the same, man. My he man. changed up on me. Then. He did? No, I didn't. Bro, no, I didn't. Oh, he bro, keeps bro, saying man. I changed up on him. <laughs> he he keeps saying I, cha- I never changed on Carlos. Bro. I always told him what it was when it was like that. I never made him no false promises. Ask him what I changed up on right now. What you changed? What and that change money. That Ask money him what changed I changed Jack, up. Man. Ask him what he asked me for when the, when the money changed me. I ain't never me. asked you for nothing. I, but so, I, so how did the money change me? Jack. How did the money change This him? nigga used to goddamn sit, call me and sell me so many dreams. Be like, I ain't got the money yet, man. Keep the shit coming. I was like, I ain't got the money yet. Well, well, keep, keep the what shit coming. coming. Keep what coming. I had him a, a straight direct plug on some. Hey, Carlos some great... was writing me some of oh, the oh, dope you're over-talking shit. You're over-talking the witness. I'm sorry about that. To... Yep. Yeah. That's what happened. Order, order. It sounded like I was lying, didn't it? <laughs> man. He buddy changed on you, man. Did y'all talk about this and patch this up? No. Huh. Past that shit. We up, never man. did. He, hey, every time I try to take a meeting with the nigga, he always. Did. I don't want to have a meeting. You don't have a meeting? No. Nah, you over it? I'm over it. All right, so. No, we, he's not. Well, we ain't going to talk about it no more. He's not over it. I'm not over I it. I think yet. he had to vent, bro. He, this, is this good enough for you? Yes. You promise? I just wanted you to know that hey, I still hey, know. Hey, Carlos, that can this I take money can I gonna change you? Again. I just want to say this last thing. I'm just thing. saying, so when you get it again, I don't want it to change you this time. No, no. That, okay. I, I ain't changed the last time. I never got it. He lied. Well, you know how you you, you say it inside the freestyle. He had two divorces. He had a Ferrari, bro. This nigga had a Ferrari. No, oh, you had was, a roost in your Ferrari. That bro. was a nigga Ferrari <laughs> I had that, that was, was driving on a video. <laughs> he uh, if you go back and look at the video, I wasn't well, even well, driving guess what, the motherfucker. Guess what? Guess what? He, he I was a, edited next to the Ferrari. Here go a solution. Look, I'm, I got a, a group <laughs> called the Solution lying, Brothers. Bro. Look, the, the, here go here go the, here go the Solution. <laughs> Hey man, can Just you imagine from this day? From the, what, what? You imagine this nigga calling you in from the Ferrari telling you he ain't got the money. Man. <laughs> that nigga did this. <laughs> hey, listen, can I tell you something? That nigga called me from the Ferrari. <laughs> he ain't got the money yet. That is true. That is true. Listen, that is true. That's true. But check this out. The money inside of the Ferrari, because it was $5,000 in the trunk. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. It, but it yeah, wasn't my $5,000. It was for the video. It was for yeah. the show. <laughs> hey, what the, what, perception is what? Oh, Reality. Bro. If you put that shit out there, people believe that's what's really going on. Bro. I was telling him the truth. Bro. I lied to these hoes, but I was telling him the truth. That's my bro. nigga. Jack, bro, you funny as hell. I never had it. it. Well, bro, you this funny out. as this hell, solution. Jack. This is a solution, Jack. Amen. Every time you see the nigga, man, just like pay him a toll fee. Like, just every time you see him, you know you go run into him, just do say, hey, 
Hey, it don't matter what it is. Hey, no, nah, I not, don't want no money from Jack. I no, cannot no, no accept. Get a nigga a gift card. Bring I can't some accept weed. nothing from Jack. No you want to take no, no weed from me? This is way better. I tell him. I tell him. I tell him that I love him every day. This is type of person. I tell him I love him every day. I would much rather be able to bring this shit up whenever the fuck I want to, as opposed to you know it hurt me. Straight up, he'll do anything to hurt me. This is better than that. I would do anything to hurt me, bro. For this, this is. Yes, he oh. won't embarrass. He go oh, like he's way too embarrassed. No, he me. just said it's up. No. It's up. It's he go up. idle. It's always what, what the young people say. It's always up. It's up with yeah. him. But that's cool. At least he can tell with years you later. It. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's cool, bro. Yeah, that nigga, he, don't, don't, don't listen to that he nigga. He flex bro. on me all the time. The, 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 the nigga sign me just to have one up on me. Right. Hey. At least yeah, I could talk about it, and yeah. I, I just found out about it. I got a great laugh out of it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, just get that nigga weed occasionally. Give man, me. I just throw him back the weed that you yeah, gave me. But I'm just saying, keep doing that shit. Just like, you know, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Just, and don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Just, don't say nothing. Just, don't say nothing. he gonna keep it. You feel me? Yeah, and then, Yeah, I don't want that from Jack. Yeah. This shit is way better. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out this. Get a nigga some weed. I just want him to love me, man. Bro, watch, watch I'm what sorry. you say. Watch what I'm, you say, I'm sorry, Jack. man. Yeah. I See, never meant to hurt you, bro. If I could Jack. go back and show, put the video on and show you that that wasn't my car. Jack. <laughs> that wasn't my, my, I borrowed that money to put inside that car on that video, bro. This is why don't nobody invite you nowhere. Stop. Stop. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Gina. He mean this. Jack, stop it, bro. I'm trying to help you. Ooh. Welcome back to Jack Fix My Life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, this... The well, flip is the mediator. Yes, yes. I'm just playing. It was jokes, yeah. The, the resolution is just... I got it together. It's up and it's stuck. <laughs> God gonna work it out, though. God got us all. He do. Like I always say, bro, God got me wrapped in a little fluffy ball of blessings. Hmm. You know. Just to take a moment and reflect on this year, little flip, and where we been, and the shit we made it past. I thought this shit was over with when the pandemic hit. Uh, yeah, I gotta was... use this voice because it's more dramatic. I thought this shit was over with. Yeah, it was crazy. Couldn't even go outside, bro. Prisoner. Niggas was on house arrest. Mm. Then did everything there is to do. Then played board games. Yep. I got a board game called True I believe. I love to During the about. pandemic, we was hustling and making like music and Doing stuff, dropping albums, but hell, I was playing Monopoly so so much. I partnered up with this company called Trailopoly. It's, it's about H Town, and you know, you roll the dice and you make money and you go around. But yeah, I ended up partnering up with them, and then I was able. I bought like two more cars, like well, about total four. But when the pandemic first hit, yeah. like I ended up buying two cars off a board game. Like we sold so many. I bought like two cars during the pandemic. Oh, I was working called Trilopoly. But yeah, the pandemic, that was crazy, man. That was You like, always been on some entrepreneurship. Got to. You still wanna do didn't you mention you wanted to do some video games and all that shit too? Yeah, I, I did a couple video games <clears throat> with, with a couple people and uh, Def Jam. Yep. That shit was man, you Life was whooping motherfuckers up. ass on that. Man, yeah. Yeah, what, man. What was your superpower on that? I forgot. That nigga I, I just, just get mad it. and go crazy yeah. and whoop the shit out you and smash your face all up yeah. against the wall. And then the nigga had to move where he'll goddamn grab you and run all See, up your back and moves. kick the shit out of you. And then the nigga be way the fuck up there and That's come crazy. back, you fuck niggas up, drop a knee all in your fucking face. Then once he beat you, the nigga talk shit for a long time and just be talking shit. <laughs> and laugh and shit. Then you got about eight seconds to decide, do you want this nigga to whoop your ass again? And then it seemed like the second time you fight him, it's harder because he, like, remembered the shit you did in the first fight. That's crazy you remember that. Like, I, man. Bro, it's like Def Jam knew the type. I don't know. That game was hard as fuck. You never beat a nigga the first time on that. Yeah. That was a nice experience, man. And you've been all up and through the game, bro. Did you ever think that you would be on a video game, bro? That wasn't one of my things. I, nah, a lot of things in my life, I, I like, have visions and... And then God will bless me and it happened. But video game, that wasn't nothing I was thinking about back then. Do you remember the first time somebody came up, hey, man, I use you every time on Def Jam Vendetta? Yeah, I was on Fight for New York. But but they was, um, yeah, people used to come to me and be like, man, you, you hard to beat, man. Yeah, you, 
Yeah. And you would give them the cheat code and <laughs> tell them how to do nah, it? No, I didn't give them no code. I just, they would just tell me I was a hard character. I wasn't, you know, weak, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Some motherfuckers, it was just easy, run through them, just. Yeah. Some of them motherfuckers just whooped the shit at you the first couple of times. It's yeah. just like, they knew. They wanted you to see how much about this game your ass didn't know. You're right. When you when you uh when the game came out, was you critiquing it and you were saying to yourself, hey, I wish they would have made me like this or gave me this right here, or why they ain't do that? The only thing that I didn't like was that, and I I should have just did one voice thing, but they were they was like um make a noise that you wanna make before <laughs> you like, I guess <laughs> your signature power, sound. Yeah, signature move or whatever. And I did one where I'm like, ah, oh, and then I did one when I'm like, Clover G's. Yeah. That's the one I wanted them. I wanted to use the Clover G's one, but when the game came out, they just used the ah. Oh. And I'm like, man, I shouldn't have even said the ah oh, shit, man. So <laughs> hey, you think it was the way you said Clover G's? He's like, I don't give a damn G's. what it is. That's my company. Yeah. And they, I ain't made say That's man. why they ain't yeah. picking they ain't want to brand it. Yeah, I don't know, but I, some, I learned a valuable lesson. Don't get too many options. I should have just did Clover G's and left them with that. But left it with lesson that. Lesson learned, crash and burn. Pay attention, Jack. <laughs> that was but brilliant. I still earned. That was brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I see yeah. What you, that was brilliant. So, but that was that was great, man. I, I love it. So to all the people, the game tech guys, man, that's, that want to do some business, man, hit me, Lil Flip 713, DM me, and uh, I got some a lot of ideas for some video games and. I'm ready to like change the world and not only put our content for adults, but put our content for the kids, like in the form of raps and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be be doing some stuff for the kids, and All right, I'm, I'm gonna see. need you and your freestyle skills. I'm gonna I need come you. Yeah. I was just about hey, to say, Hershey Walker. How would you teach him how to rap? Nah, it's it's easy, man. Um, he man, he he witty and funny. Like he he improv out the top of his head. Give me and, one, and, Jack. All right. Your whole style is ridiculous. I can tell you's a bitch cause you ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's like, he got like some 19. It was in my delivery. 80s. It, it, it uh, was like from I'd back. I'd say 89. 80, 89. 89. Yeah, he said you back then. You know, it, it's, it's a little dated, but man, I, sometimes the best way to the freestyling is like not even trying. Yeah. Right? You just be you and you just go with it and just fuck with it. Just you, you go fuck up, but the more you do it, you know you better. You gonna be cool. Just the just, better that shit. Sound. Yeah, you just practice. All right. You gotta uh-huh. find yourself. Let me do it again. Find yourself. You know. Hit the bitch in the jaw. Tell the hoe, don't break the law. Tell the hoe, this shit is real. No, you not That's listening the to the beat, That's Jack. Feel. Are you rapping to the beat or are you rapping to the feet? He rapping to the sound of the beat. <laughs> rapping yeah. to right. the beat. Can Hit you hear the bitch it? In the jaw. Tell the hoe, don't break the law. Tell the whole shit. Oh, I think I figured it out. You tone deaf. Okay. But you just gotta figure out what you wanna say, man. I mean, you know, but that was cool. You see how you said hit a bitch, and it didn't really, it didn't really hit the mark. Cause we know you ain't never hit a bitch before. You see you know, how you lying? Yeah. See how lying don't work for everybody? It wasn't even believable. Cause you sped past it like we wasn't gonna end. hit a bitch. When? <laughs> you look nice. You better tell them what you really do. What? Yeah. Mr. Nice Buy a girl, girl everything. There tell you a girl go. you wanna swing. Tell a girl you wanna do this. Tell a girl you wanna do that. Stop. Tell yeah. a girl you wanna eat the cat. You telling the motherfucker too much. You telling too much. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. That's it, that's see? Yeah, you, you. I'm don't, glad don't you tell get to hear this shit from somebody yeah. else other than me. But sometimes it's, it's cool to do it like four times and then, you know, go to the next. I, I get it. It was, you know it's, what? It's no wrong or right, right way to do anything, Jack, right? don't you worry about it. We're just punching in. Is coming. I, I see what you're doing, We're man. just punching you, you right. in. You, you, okay. I thought you were hating it first. I ain't gonna even Try a different style on it, Jack. All right. Slow it down. So just slow it down a little yeah. bit. Try to find that pocket. Right. There we go. Trying to find the pocket. I want to get like a rocket and sock it and let them know that I ain't okay, going to Okay, use better it. words, but that same tempo. Use better words. That's all you need is better words. <laughs> It's astronomically impossible to fuse my lyrical time bomb. I'm coming from where you from. We from the same place. I like the same taste. You got the same face. Girl, thank you for coming to my place and not giving me no coochie. (laughs) 
Yeah. Because I'm a oochie coochie. <laughs> coochie la la la. It's Faces more swap. believable. It's hey. more believable now. Yeah. I'm more conceivable. I'm more believable. I'm more achievable. Come okay. on. I'm easy. Look at you believing in yourself. Believing in myself. Look at you believing in yourself. In yourself. I set it off to the left. Left. Because I was on the right. Right. But now you're believing in yourself. I was out of sight. Yourself. Because I only yourself. got one eye. Yourself. I'm ready to die. Yeah. Not yourself. today. In yourself. I'm ready to cry. Believing in yourself. I cry you believing you in yourself. I'm like Joe to see. We got hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I hope you're having a good day. Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Scents Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L O U S, that's Los, and get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla. Pineapple sage, which is my favorite. Egyptian amber. All types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy DC on Fly. In case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we are currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85 per center. Right, spread it out. Code 85 P E R C E N T E R. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like Five on It, 80 Vibe, and even get your special offers and discounts for 85 South merchandise. And the shows, it's only $8.50 a month or $85 for the whole year. And you can find us online at china85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, Roku, and even on Android. And remember, use code 85 per center for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel 85, subscribe. Do some shit you like believing that. in yourself. Believe Look, in at yourself. You. Look at you. Over there believing in yourself. Used to be an under but overachieving by yourself. Look at you. You need that motivation. You uh, you put your mind to it. That's called that concentration. Concentration. They ain't about shit. That's constipation. I've been making cash and I got my proclamation. March third is Lil Flip Day in H yeah. Town. But Padre Island too. I got days in two towns. But uh, Exotic Pop, we got a day too. So I got three days. I write songs in my PJs. Come on. On the PJ. I used to go to Austin and they had the relays. I walked straight to the DJ. Come on. If you got a little bit of drink left, that's a ski taste. Come on. They catch me, I take them on the chase. Mm -hmm. Hit the switch, everything get go down. I'm a hammer headed sharp, reel them in, watch them drown. Hey, I pull your girl and you think I'm not. Bitch. Walking around your house with number but gold toe socks. Okay. In a robe like a stepfather. stepfather. Lock the top lock and don't bother. Step daddy. Everybody about to go to bed. You heard what your stepfather says. Make sure you take a bath tonight. Right now, nigga. Cause y'all was musty shit last night. Yeah. Your mama said, mama said don't say nothing. Mama? But ain't your real father, uh -huh. so I'ma say something. Hey, in that room smell like pee. Yeah. Don't none of y'all little niggas wanna square with me. Cause I'm old school. old school. I got a tank top. Tank top. I'll whoop a nigga ass in some flip flops. Hey. I done did that. Did that. Try me then. Try me then. I whoop you, your cousin, and her boyfriend. Come on. Come on. In case y'all try to jump. Jump, jump, jump. And before you go to bed, y'all grandma on them is ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this family. What? And if you don't like it, try to do something to me. Try to do something to him, nigga. I'ma have to show up. The whip lime green, they look like throw up. Yeah. Opposite of down, I gotta go up. I get the cash, two of everything, like no up. Come on. Made a lot of cash, then I put it away. Come on. Legendary. I jam shy day. Yeah. Cash is clay. 
nigga. I got a sting. Milk does a body good, but in Texas, we drank a lot of lean. But you gotta drink that water to flush your kidneys. A lot of these rappers, man, they goofies. They so Disney. Nigga, you know I'm repping Houston. I'm so Whitney. You know, gotta cross a nigga over like Mike Bibby. Mm-hmm. Tired to tell them niggas we ain't fell off. They wishing my well off. Too blind to see we well off. Come on. You must don't know how many gas guards we mail out. I didn't Cali, I can't tell y'all. No, but I'm connected with some nigga. real niggas. And if you from the South, man, you gotta be a trill nigga. Yeah, we don't wear no heel figure, it's polo. Back in the days, I bought my bitches some Manolos. I went to New York to fuck with Killer Cam. Yeah. If these niggas need verses, go to MoneyGram or hit me on my Instagram. I'ma give them hell, cash out for fast rap so you could hit me on my Zell. Yeah. <laughs> Sit in the front end. Front end. Because I need that before we begin the business process. Okay. And have that other money as soon as I get my baggage right off the process. Right. And have the car wait. Mm. Big blunts with no shake. And some thick just to sit by me. Yeah. A nice view with a chick by me. Bitch. You ain't see me with some thick by me? I did. All the hoes in the back want to sit by me. Hey. hey, having good fucking times. Like Rick James, the way they stand in line. Rick James, bitch. That's going to go over your head. But I spit it off the top because the nigga like me ain't scared. Hey, run it back so I can see what the fuck I said. Okay. Should have wore that motherfucking shit I had in red. Mm. But I went with the black because I'm super cool. I should have wore some ice blue because I'm super cool. cool. I should have wore some green shit. Man, this is how I feel. I should have wore the same color as a dollar bill. Dollar bill? I should have came the same color as honey mustard. Because I don't give a fuck and you know these bitches want to trust me. I, I should have came the same color barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. So I can make some bad bitches just lick it off. Lick it I should have came the same color as a chicken wing. Chicken the wing. way I get so fucking fly and do my damn thing. Damn I should have came the same color as a nine later. I should have came in blood red. I'm like an alligator. I should have came like a motherfucking Nike suit. Nike I should have came with about 50 niggas out the boot. I should have came like that pause. I should have came back. Welcome back. We here, y'all. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Give me a little flip to the cold hey, niggas. Hey, 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 they ever come outside. I'm talking about out of all the niggas that ever came outside. Man. It was us. I thought you was about to jump in there, Jay. I was about to say, hey, yo, I be on the PJ. Huh. That mean my pajamas. I be with your mama, your auntie, and your grandma. Yeah. Okay. That's all I had. Oh, but, but at least you, at least Come you, on. There we, you saw, the, there we go. You saw, Salute. There we I go. I would have put, hey. like if I would, I would put that last and then cut the beat off. That's what I should have did. Yeah. Po See, boss nigga. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. should charge niggas po' boss. Watch Look, this. You Jay Wynn, let them do his shit then cut it off. Watch this. Do your shit again. Okay. I should have came, I stay in the PJs. That's me in my pajamas. I be with your auntie, your grandma. Oh, let's do it though, let's do it. Okay, baby. Right. Right. Okay, right. 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 What's your man? Uncut. Right. 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 Oh no, I'm gonna count you in. Alright, All right. Rick. You got you let's go. I don't know, you gotta get the groove, get the groove. Alright, it's you my mic. Face on, it's my mic. Face on. Yeah. Get your eye right. You ready? Right. You ready? Right. Let's go. Go. I stay in PJs. That's my pajamas. I be with your sister, your auntie, and your grandma. Cut the beat. Cut it, cut it See, yeah. that's enough. Yeah. That, that, we, you, you, we in there. You, and then I'm going to get... But you did it the better the very first time, though. You're getting better. Drink some more exotic pop. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you, you still got some there. work to do. Okay. Uh, um, but just a cool... You, hey, man, you, you're headed hey, in the right direction. I'm making effort. The, the only thing to be the, uh, a, tri, uh, a fail is a try, right? Right. Hey, you know what you got to do? You got to learn some more words. <laughs> I see you. I see you trying to think of words. Yeah, you gotta expand your, yeah, your vocabulary. Don't overthink. Hey, that's why hey, the whole time I'm over here listening to y'all. Yeah. I'm like, how they do that? Bro, you just it's like it's it, like it, y'all. It, you you wrote it, but I don't. I know you right, didn't. Right. Well, Flip got photographic memory and shit. So even nine ladies and the alligators, you already had that. No, nah, man, that's just some. That don't sound alike. Nine ladies and alligators. <laughs> Now, ladies and alligators. Black people really kind of manipulated this language to make certain shit sound a certain way. That's why it's so many words that look alike, right? But they don't mm-hmm. mean yeah, the same thing. Yeah. Damn, my 
came up. Back in. The back in. Yeah, yeah sen- synonyms and shit. Yeah. I, I, I was breaking it. I was like, how the fuck? This, these songs this must be out already at their house. <laughs> ah, just off the top of the head, that's real freestyle. Oh, yeah. That's why when I be seeing like, you know how people do, they'll, they'll put up freestyle and like I can tell if a you person. You frown on that? That just if mean, it's not a freestyle, bro. That just mean they couldn't come up with a hook. Yeah, man. <laughs> like if it's not an actual freestyle, you shouldn't call it a freestyle. Mm-hmm. Even if you're doing it over somebody else's beat, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. if you're not actually freestyling, it's not a freestyle. What well, would it be a bot style? Nah. nah, it's it's rote, nigga. It's a rote style, nigga. Rote that it's, shit. It ain't, you know. It's put together. It ain't off the head. It's it preconceived. Hey, dog, listen. Everybody ain't got this type of talent right here. So oh, yeah. I, I, and it's some people that like really write well. That I salute them all to the point. Especially when, the battle rappers. All of my partners. I, yeah. I salute them. Like yeah. Cassidy, I was texting with Cassidy before I came. Here. But all them Reed Dollars, K Shine, all them, them, I guess. Yes. And then the, I salute the them for being able shit. to remember all of those lines. I, three I times for three I minutes. Can't do it. Long. I can't do and it. perform it. Yeah. Mm. And make it entertaining. Mm. Mm. But, off, but off the top of the head, nah, nigga, that's, that's me. Out you could do that, Flip. I, what? You could do that. Remember all that shit? Yes. You Hell could definitely I, do that. Nigga, I got so many songs that I have to, I have to Turn remember. Turn that shit off. The fuck? Like, nigga, I got so many songs that I have to remember when I perform. Mm. Like, nigga, for me to sit there and just try to remember, nigga, 60 bars, nigga. Nigga, three rounds of it, nigga. Like, man. Hey, I, I, listen. All right. I, I, I see what's going on because I'm asking yeah. you the wrong question. Yeah. Because it ain't enough on the line inside or, or figurative uh, in this imaginary conversation. Yeah. Let's say it's a million dollars on the line. For Back me, against for, the wall. For, for, for a million and dollars. And who do you battle? I ain't gonna pick who I battle, but, but for a million dollars. You gonna I, let anybody battle you? You don't give a fuck. It, I mean, if I show if you, I cho- show, if show I us cho- your opponent. If I choose to battle like that, you know, I do that. But I would rather go out the top of the head. I don't. I'm away. Like I'm a vicious nigga. My pen's stupid too. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> but I'm just saying, like off the head, nigga. I'm a. It, I don't have no restrictions. I don't have to stick to a cadence, or even though I know how to change my cadence if I write, but like I, I, I get to just try different styles right. and you know, so nigga, I just be having fun with it. But yeah, but I'm gonna leave that battle to them young niggas, man. To yeah, all them day. Yeah. I got my own battle league, little flip rap battle league, so I'm bringing that back, but I ain't, man, I'm, I'm cool, man. You know, cause when, when you battle, see I started out battle rapping. like. <laughs> as well as in the church, nigga. I used to battle and do talent shows, go win the trophies, nigga. All the clubs in Houston, nigga. Right. Around the world, nigga. What you mean battle in church? Nigga, Jesus don't love you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Positive. Positive. He blessed me, me, him, and Positive. him. And, but not you. Hey. See, I was talking to God the other day. I said, Lord, mm-hmm. protect me from my enemies. <laughs> then Jack showed up. Damn. We Trying became to be friends. a friend to me. See, Ooh. you got to take your time when you're around snakes. That's why I'm here to clean up the yard. I'm bringing out the holes and the ricks. Now, see, that would be hard. That would be hard. Like a church battle? I rebuke you in the blood of Jesus. Because he's the only one that has my heart. He's the only ones that please us. You five five with brown eyes. <laughs> I said, you five five with brown eyes. I'm impossible. (laughs) That last thing I just said, it was very plausible. Y'all should clap now. Everybody better start slapping before I start to slap now. You being violent, you being, you being violent in at church. church. At church, yeah. You want to slap people then in you church? You know what, I'm about to get kicked out of church. Nah, you're, you're right. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You, 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 you can't you. take you nowhere, bro. No, you, you that one. No, 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 this, you would. You, you got to kind of have a code word for when he can talk with y'all. <laughs> you go can't, out. bro. You, you, you can't no, take this nigga nowhere. You give him a, like a code word to tell somebody to say hi and bye and then he don't talk right. No. And then you, you when it's time for one joke, you give him like that, nah, nigga, he no. tell a joke and he don't say nothing else. He's not going to be able to, because he don't know when to stop. Well, you got to tell him. He's the type of nigga walk in seconds. church and be like, man, there's some hoes in here. I've Damn. done it. And to say it loud. I've done it. You can't talk. He can't. You can't talk. He I've just, done that. So, yeah, man. He I tried, them, bro. Somebody in the comments put it the best way I've seen it put. They what? said, Jack is the person that you can't take nowhere, but you glad you did. Man. 
<laughs> the more comments I read of how much they hate Jack, I'm gonna keep putting them on episodes. Well, you gotta have somebody, man, man you know, to, to balance the, to make you laugh and all that. That nigga, shit. man, me. I, that's why I keep crying, laughing over here, bro. Oh, that's this great, man. You can man. bring joy back, man. You know what I'm saying? Too? I wouldn't necessarily say that, but straight up. <laughs> so. Gospel battle rapping, what does that mean, though? Bro, we should start a gospel nah, battle rap league. Like talent shows and battles and just, you know, you let's do it. Your let's start a gospel battle rap league. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rules? Same then us. let's start a battle rap league just for all the fathers. Straight up. Because okay. you, you know what? I bet you it's a lot of people in church that do want to battle and whatnot, but they just feel like it's kind of outside of oh, the, the be hard. Yeah. Sister Johnson, I don't like the way you park your car. Mm. Right next to the pastor like you mm. some kind of superstar. Mm. Every time somebody says is there any announcements from the floor, you pop your little weasel head ass up and be like, I got one more. Mm. I'm sick of this shit. You keeping us in church all Sunday. Mm. <laughs> then you want people to come back at six o'clock on Monday. Straight up. <laughs> True. And you want to sit here and praise the Lord and be all fake. When everybody in the whole church know you're still in at the collection plate. <laughs> That's when the church go crazy. What? For real? Somebody in the back said, talk your shit. Yeah. That's gonna be Jack. That's gonna be Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Jack can take shit way too far. Man. Cause he'll be like, get on that bitch ass. And then <laughs> now the whole church wanna shut the battle down. <laughs> he ain't even in the battle, but he right there. He find his way to be front row at a lot of battles. I couldn't see I, I church being no different. being offbeat. And it ain't nothing wrong with it. What you think that is? Uh, I just feel like, you know, just just let it happen. Man. Right. Let it happen. Let the chips fall where they may. I heard that. And, uh, you know, you just keep on going and you, 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 you might fuck around and land where you want to. It's about mm. consistency at the end of the day. Would y'all agree? That's a beautiful message. It's Look, about flip. Check this out. It's about consistency. Georgia just got his first Whataburger down here. For real? Hell yeah. Hey, it makes enough of that shit. Hell man. yeah. Hey. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know this shit? That's cool. I mean, it's in Kennesaw, but it's still here, though. It wasn't man, no, no I other. Got a water burger, man. Yeah. Why did they choose to put it in Kennesaw first? Somebody else bought the. I guess they had the money. Well, here go one, one, uh, like a contra code, like trick. You know what I'm saying? When you get the taquito, sausage, egg, and cheese, tell them you want the egg out the shell, and it's gonna taste way better than the regular one that people don't know to ask for. The egg out the shell. And That's then get the honey butter uh, chicken. You didn't confuse him. He ain't. I told you, he's not on the same level as it's everybody thinking, else. Yeah, it's cool. He think you made it. What they mean, shell? Well, eggs don't come out of no shell. Eggs come out of carton. Because he a, 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 quick, a quick trip? What? The taquitos? No, no, no. We talking about Whataburger. Yeah. That boy said quick trip. Oh, oh. Hey, you threw me out. That boy said yeah. quick trip. I'm like, what? Oh, okay. You lost me. I, I told you, man. That got you. Yeah, yeah. Man, you, I, need to, you need to smoke. Because if, if you don't smoke and you act like this, maybe smoking might... He's not know, acting. He's like that. Th that's what I'm saying. You might need to smoke. No, you ain't seen him high, bro. Well, then, damn, man. I'm going to figure out a cure for you when he to, gets so high. you can <laughs> be on beat and so you can be more confident hey, when, about what you what you got going on with your life. Dog. When that nigga get high, he started thinking he in shape. He started trying people and shit. <laughs> I'm, 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 I am in shape. See? It's the second hand <laughs> smoke zone. I'm round. I'm still stuck on this Ferrari with the 5K. Bro, that man. nigga pulled that move on me, man. That nigga said, I, I ain't got dead. the money yet, bro. I get with you when hey, I get bro, it. Hey, it bro, it was, it was goddamn 5K and, like, it was about maybe 2,000 in bills and the other 3,000 was in change. That's bullshit. That nigga had about $200,000. 
It cash. wasn't mine. In cash. <laughs> hey, how many times have you seen niggas have that amount of money and whatnot and they couldn't yeah, take it off? Especially when a nigga like you, I was that called, I was like, that nigga was in the Ferrari. I heard him slam the trunk where the money was at. You hey, you you been a you <laughs> hey, hey, I heard shit. <laughs> slammed in the background. <laughs> Carlos been in my apartment in New York. He know I wasn't living like that. <laughs> hey, one time that nigga, I went to that nigga first apartment. You know how people invite you in. Right. This nigga was talking to me through the window. <laughs> For real. <laughs> hey, it's hard in New York. I'm man. outside yeah. looking crazy. The motherfucker talking to the street. They thought I was talking to a Ninja Turtle. I told a nigga to come through the window. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was too bougie for that. He thought it was a game. Yeah. We could have fit in miles. You were a lot, nigga. You was standing in your whole shit like a stall. It, it, that's New York life, though, bruh. You and know, you I, I, I went up there chasing the dream and shit. And a lot of shit just be fabricated. Mm. You know, that, that was 50 money. That wasn't my money. Oh, hell. He was rich. I wasn't rich. I wasn't part of the, the collective. If you got rich I on, wanted to get a nigga on the everything. independent grind, though. What about it? You see, you got rich on the mm-hmm. independent side. Definitely. What made you go fuck with the majors then? To be more rich? Not, not about being more rich, because I was, a, I had millions, like I had some M's already around 15, 16. Shit. Yeah, like As I, a black person? Yeah, I, I was, see. I love shit like That's that. why I be telling you. You was doing stuff. crypto back then? No, it was in I cash, just, nigga. I just, I'm a hustler, and I was, I had the pleasure to meet some people that were plugged in, and I was able to make money. But right. I still had to play a role as if I was broke because I still stayed with my grandparents. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. So I, I'm doing I, that now. I, I just, I applied the way I learned and the different people that I was around, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Mexicans where I come from, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we right by the border. So, you know, I, I was able to plug in with some people and I just learned a lot. So I applied the way I seen other businessmen and women bring their organizations up to the top in the way they, you know, applied. See, most people, when you know, when you uh watching these these movies like Godfather and you know, they be like, you know, you got to have a boss and an underboss and a capo and an outlet, you know, concierge. And, but what might work for somebody else might not work for you. Listen, I want to have our bosses with me because I want the person who's handling anything that's being handled to know what it feel like to lose some money and know how important each, you know what I'm saying, job or situation is, if you got a motherfucker playing a role and they ain't never know what it feel like to lose 50 bands or nothing, they ain't finna, they ain't gonna take that, you know what I mean? So Yeah, they, especially if it ain't their shit yeah. to lose. So I, I'm gonna surround shit. myself with motherfuckers that, so I just grinded like that and I had different people, whatever DJs that were showing me the most love and helping and even all of them, some of them used to have problems with each other, but I put them all in a room like, look, I fuck with all y'all, all y'all help with my records. Nigga, we finna eat. Whatever y'all got going, put that shit to the side, at least for the day, you know right. what I mean? And let's, let's celebrate what we got going. Go, I, I do my mixtapes, freestyling on our everybody beach, you know what I'm saying? Doing my shit, going to the towns. While we picking up show money, I'm picking up more money on my mixtapes than I was for the show. And I just kept on doing it. Everybody like, why you doing this? Why you doing it, man? You giving up too much, you blah, blah, blah. Nobody wanted to get on the mixtapes. And then when I got, they saw how much money I was making, then on the fourth one, all the people on the label was like, man, put me on something, put me on something. Well, I told y'all niggas. Mm. So I'm like, like Roy Jones say, y'all must have forgot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I just grind. And Pensacola was one of my markets. Mississippi, fucking with David Banner, you know what I'm saying? I used to be in his town prior to like- You said that man music. had bad table manners on his <laughs> own song. Man. You told the world that. <laughs> <laughs> Did he know you felt like that prior to the record coming out? I ain't gonna lie. It just sounded good. Well, the nigga Banner actually <laughs> said he did have bad table manners at yeah. the time. Yeah, it sounded good. You know, David Banner, table manners. It was like, you know, I, I like to not rhyme everything with words that people have heard rhymed with before, you know right. what I mean? I'm glad you did that one, because now all my uncles in Mississippi, they that's the one song they know all the words to. Hmm. You know, my uncle get drunk and he just keeps saying that one line, bro. Over and over till somebody beat his ass. 
Me, I'm a pimp. Straight up. I ain't paying for no set. Church. Rather buy a car. Nephew. Or a new Rolex. Yeah. Motherfucker. That's his part. Hey, shout out to everybody Fred. in Mississippi, man. Like, Shout out to all my people in Mississippi, but yeah. special shout out to all my drunk ass uncles. Shout out to the drunk ass uncles. My uncles man. be fucked up at 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning. <laughs> fucked up. I need to see a video. Oh, fucking yeah. I need to see the uncle saying that shit. She. On video. Get him on video one day. Oh. Whenever you, you know, I want oh, to see how you they try turn and get up all to like my, a pimp. Uh-uh, they flag all these videos. Hey, now, send, I just want to see it for me. I'm going to send it to me. To yeah, I ain't, ain't got to post it. But oh, I put on a documentary or something, you know, whatever. Gonna, but I just want to see the uncles in Mississippi turn up to like a pimp. Man, that's their shit. Yeah. The, why, the, why they be flagging it? When you own the music and stuff like that, shit. and copyright, da da da. They, um, I just want to see the OGs turn up. I can they post it because my shit. of a video I was in or some shit I said. Man. I was in the video and I was talking shit like over like my shit. I had to re- like go through that shit and get it reviewed. They keep flagging it though every so often. Yeah. Well, leave me the fuck alone, bro. These are my thoughts and ideas. Fuck y'all. Message. <laughs> Ain't it crazy though how motherfuckers not only want to own your content but your likeness? Oh yeah. Pretty soon they gonna be selling oxygen. Nigga, I, nigga, I got a gram of air, nigga. Got a gram of air for a honey, nigga. That's one honey. <laughs> yeah. I hope they don't do that, cause then you gonna find that you ain't been breathing air this whole time. Nigga. Fucking way. Like what? So what have we been doing? <laughs> yeah, keep breathing that shit you been breathing. But if you want some real air, <laughs> here's my card. <laughs> And you can't do it like day by day. You gotta yeah. have a subscription. Yeah. And your air go on your credit report. Nigga. Nigga. Elon Musk gonna find this clip and make that shit possible. Hey, y'all know where it started. Cut us in. We ain't greedy. Anything is plenty, man. <laughs> Anything like, is plenty, like man. Like Devin the Dude say, man. Shout out to Devin the Dude, too, man. I, I, bro, I got to do one of my bucket lists, man. One of my bucket lists is to do a record with Jada Kiss, do a record with Sade, and, you, and, and do and do a and do a uh, a weed song with Devin the Dude. So I got the weed song with Devin the Dude on this project, Funge and Flip. I, I just dropped this uh, about two weeks ago. Let me see. This the, is the middle school I went to, Fudger Middle School um, in Houston, on the southwest side of Houston, which is like, you know, it's some shit that, that went on, you know, on that side of town, man. Yeah. And, and that's where I had to, you know, grow up even faster than I was already, already put on game by my, you know what I mean, my parents and my uncle. So I, yeah. I wasn't no green nigga. I was, nine years old with the mind of a 25 year old and you know as i grew but yeah man um i did that and then i got this record i'm gonna get jada kiss on when i did drink champs i was telling nori my you know my, i'm like yeah i want to do a record with sade and a record with with jada and so he facetimed jada kiss oh, i knew that nigga was yeah, gonna get drunk yeah. and call him that's one yeah. of my favorite parts of the show so, yeah so yeah jada i, I still nori call verse, him nigga. Yo, yo yo i'm gonna call you right back i'm yeah. gonna a little flip Yep, I need that verse, Jada, man, you know? Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Yeah, so I gotta get that, and then I gotta work on Sade. I love Man, I, I ain't love never her. heard nobody on a Sade. I know. I love her. Never I heard that. You want to do a feature? I want to be her boyfriend. Straight up. That's even if mom. she just left me and moved you, you, you to know, You know Sade's 65 years I old, right? I don't She don't even, she don't even look like she Nowhere don't. near it, yeah. 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 I love her. I was be listening to her shit by myself, and yeah. I just me too. That my whole mind, thing, right? In my mind, that, it's like I'm, I it play, ain't no I doorway. Play that before, before, look, look, before, before I do concerts, depending on the type of crowd I'm going, at, like I got different records, right? You know what I'm saying? And I throw Shade on uh, Cherish today. I throw that on, and then I, I throw on Zero. Shout out to my bro Zero. Shout out to the most city dog. He did, my bro for life. And, and Infinity, screwed up, click shit. But, like, he got a record called Re- Respect My Mind. It's kind of like a rendition of that. So I play her version, then I play Respect My Mind, and then I go on the 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying? What up, uh, 
what up, cuz? You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I go into my my money bag, yo shit, you know what I'm saying? So, don't like niggas, don't like bitches, don't yeah. like nobody. Yeah. <coughs> so I, I get in my that, different That song vibes. got the spirit of the ancestors in it. <laughs> he come out on stage up. today. <laughs> don't that just sound like spirit. a monologue from hey. one of them old black and white movies? This one say the spirit of old the Old nigga named Elmer. Straight up. What if I snitch and still gotta go to jail? You know what they'll do to you in there if you snitch and still went to jail? They will pop your eye out and fuck that hole. <laughs> Don't like niggas, no. don't like bitches, don't like nobody. <laughs> Straight up. That shit hard. We can oh, God, keep it nigga. main to main or oh, however big God. you won't go by it. That's just the God's only truth. Oh, big God. <laughs> nah, I was fucking with him. I love that shit, though, man, the culture. Really, speaking of the culture, man, this, it's a new generation of artists coming out of Houston, man. You fuck with them? Who got Hell your yeah. co-sign? Who you see start and where they at now? There's so many I don't want to leave no names out. I feel but, but what it. But what it is, I will make sure I say some names that I know I had left out a few times. Somebody asked me this. Um, but you, you got the Jeremy Gas Gang doing this shit. You got Sauce Walker. Um, you still got B King doing this thing. Yeah. Um, I'm proud of him elevating, doing other records, you know what I mean, with two chains and just being able to do, you know to get the look that he looked, man, because he make that shit, man, for them clubs, man. Club God, shout out to B-King. Yeah. yeah. Um, man, you got Peso, Peso doing this thing. Uh, the whole TSL. Mexican, yeah, OT. You got, man, O&B Bloodbath. You got Tina Marie. You got, man, you got Tina Jay, Marie? Yeah. Martina Marie. Martina um, Marie. Maxo Cream. It's, it's, it's a lot of people. Maxo, you got Maxo, Maxo, Maxo. It's so many, man, but Sosa not, man. any. Yeah, yeah Sosa. Look, all of, so all the people that in. take this serious are people who got my co-sign. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people, so I root for these artists, like, when I bump into them or whatever, they ever be needing verses and stuff like that, like, I chop it up with them and I fuck with them. And um, it is what it is. You got to pass the torch and you got to get a game the same way people like Snoop Dogg gave me the game. And, you know, other mentors and DJ Screw and Devin yeah. the Dude. We have different, and A-Ball MJG and UGK and Mama West, Pimp C Mom, and yeah. rest in peace to Pimp C. Like, I got a lot of knowledge, so it be a lot of behind the scene game that they be giving me. And, you know, because of Pimp C Mom <coughs> and because of my dad is one of the reasons why, why and how I know how to deal with promoters and why I book stuff and talk for myself. Like, yeah. I don't need no middleman talking for me. You know what I mean? That's the game. Deal get done way quicker when I talk for myself. You know, Ryan know, you know what I'm saying? So, you talk to me directly. Exactly. Yeah, we ain't need no middleman. Hell no. Yeah, um, I heard Snoop Dogg when I was on uh, GGN a while back. He said that some advice that he asked 50 Mm -hmm. uh, about how he was getting all these deals he said, he said, are you inside of the meetings? Mm-hmm. And he was like, nah. He yeah. said, that's the problem. That's why you ain't getting the deals that you want, because you ain't in the meetings. Yeah, yeah. Cause you got to be there you damn and right. learn that lingo. Because somebody go be there, and they go be trying to Represent negotiate you. for you. Even like with, with my, my strain I did with gas guards, like my sunshine strain. I talk for myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, I write my own contracts up. Like, I know what I want. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I've read enough contracts and been a part of enough business to know what's what. I came in the game as a CEO. A lot of artists, they didn't even start off as, as a CEO. You know what I'm saying? Timber. But um, so I came in the game as a CEO, man. So I'm, I'm just one of them type of visionaries. I'm a quarterback to play. I'm a talk. We go get it done. I'm going to do what I'm, I say I'm going to do, plus more. You know what I mean? And then, you know, once they go deal with other artists and go through bullshit, they're going to be running back to me like, man, I don't need to do more business with you because, see, this nigga, he wouldn't even post my shit. He took the <clears> money. <throat> he did it, did it, he finessed me. Right. And they kind of come back to the trail and see, I stand on principles and, and morals of, of doing great business. Not good business, great business. I want to make sure you satisfied. You good? You know what I mean? Da-da-da. All right, cool. And then I'm, I'm out, nigga. Back in the shadows like a ninja, nigga. Right. 
They say $250,000 is what it takes to push a record to become a number one hit, right? Now, if you uh, was to give a... Um, it up -and might be artist, too low. That, yeah, it, might, it definitely might be too low. If you was to give an up-and-coming artist, you know what I'm saying, advice what to do with his $250,000, what would you tell him to do? Keep the money. <laughs> I, I ain't, I ain't going to give it away here. They would have to contact me there you you go. Know, for, for my consultant, and I'll tell you. I'm hearing this over and over. It's to be so for real. Like. Yeah, but because I'm one of them people, I, I did it with a little bit of money, with no money, with money. And what you realize, bro, is relationships are last money, mm. right? So if you know the right people, and the right people you know know the right people. If you have a chain of the right people all around the fucking world, you're going to be able to be resourceful and have people get you whatever you need. So it's really about a motherfucker <coughs> who got 250. I, I show them how to spend probably like 50 of that. 50 of that. Keep the two. You, you keep the. Hold on. Let me show you. I make 50 look like you spent probably a half a million because it's, it's a whole method to how this stuff is. And. I've been in a lot of billion dollar meetings and all these different things just, just you know, just watching. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, nah, yeah, you know, that's what it is. But it's different ways to skin a cat, man. You, you just gotta know the right people. Mm. All right. You've been in the game, man, like to the point, you, you, you was one of the first people, all, everybody from Houston, Talk that independent shit. They've been like independent for a long time. What did Houston rappers know back in the 90s, early 2000s that everybody else didn't know? They knew that there was a lot of people in Texas. Bro, we just knew you gotta go out and be for the people. You know what I mean? Like, when a person is able to like, this is what I tell people all the time. People used to be like, man, why you pass out your own flyers? Why you do the, uh, or why you get your own CDs out? I'm like, look, a person, they gonna remember me giving it to them more than like a street team person. You know what I mean? Fl oh, yeah, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Flip gave this to me. And he told me my shoes was dope. He shook my hand, da -da, you feel me? A whole story come with it. Took a picture with my baby and everything. All that. <clears throat> so I'm just like, yeah, yeah, nigga, you serve us with a smile, nigga. Respectfully. Make them real fans, bro. Yeah, because you, you spending your money to fuck with me. You could have spent your money anywhere else, but you decided to spend some money with me, buy an album, even if I give you a free album. That means you go buy a ticket to the concert and you go come and know the words already and you might buy a shirt. So if I don't get you to buy an album, you know, I'll get you to buy something. Even if I just get one stream, it's cool. Or even if you just, I impact your life, it's all good because I started out doing music for God anyway, not for no money. So I don't, the reason I do music is way different than other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just do it because I'm nice, nigga, and it's what I was programmed to do. And. I run circles around niggas even at this age. You put me on the track with any nigga from any area, any age, and you, I'm not gonna sound like <laughs> I'm from the, you feel me? Right. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a blend right in and I'm gonna give it to him respectfully. It's crazy that you say that because I remember when uh, Ludacris was Chris Lover Lover and he gave me his CD at, uh, back for the first time. Mm -hmm. And so when he started to blow right after that, when What's Your Fantasy came on right. and whatnot, and with uh, the, uh, his first album, mm -hmm. I was like, that's Buddy. And I followed him ever since then, and I felt like I was a part of the journey. That's dope. And so I see exactly what you're saying with the method. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool, man. And me just having a convo with my fans, that shit like inspire music. Like even like uh, if you you listen to uh, Devin the Dude record, oh what a job this is, where he got Andre yeah. 2000 and Snoop yeah. on it, and like how Andre talking about the fan that he met and blah blah blah, like like you know. So I'm just one of them people, you know. I absorb the energy and you know it might end up in a record or it might end up in a story. I might end up Hakeem or I might end up Robert Ory. Yeah, he ain't paying attention. I'm sitting here just peeping game all the shit you're saying right here. It's just amazing, man. Just to know that I used to ride around 
Listen to all the little flip freestyles, man. We sitting in here yeah. talking this shit, man. Nah, man. <clears throat> now when you when you text me about the the I can do that, that's my shit. That was man. great. You know what I mean? Like, and that's I, my shit. I, I didn't know you was from Mississippi, so just the the respect and the you know the the realness and trillness. Cause some people they feel like if they ground or they too gangster, you know. I'm too good or too gangster to tell another nigga, hey man, I fuck with your music, or nigga, them shoes nice, you know what I mean? So for right. anytime another grown man is able to tell a nah, nigga, nah, you inspire me, right. whether we the same age or whether you older or da da da, nah, I respect it and I appreciate it and um, that shit, that shit worth more than money to me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. that let me know that some shit that I made in the studio when I was going through or thinking whatever, whatever, made it way to Mississippi and somebody fuck with that shit and know that shit and yeah, man. they just keep me going. I use it as fuel. Hey man, that's real. Cause this is for the blacks, Asians, Chinese and Caucasian, Muslims, Irish, and even Jamaicans. Uh. All the Hispanics, throw your hoods up. And all the fine women, raise your dress up. <laughs> 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 now you should throw your sets up. And all the fine women, in raise your... Hey, that's my shit. We in this bitch, Jack Thriller. That was crazy, bro. I, I, I want to get into your mind real quick, man. I want to nah, ask no you something sorry, that's um, hypothetical ass shit. This, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty cool right here. You ready? Yeah, okay. This is some Inception shit. Okay. What is a dream that you didn't had ever since you were little, like that's reoccurring that you always have? Like for instance, man, since for 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 like forty years, I've always had this one same dream that I can fly. No wings, uh, but I'm always flying inside of my dream, and no one understands it except me, and everybody's shocked, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's well, that for you? Just the one reoccurring dream for me was when I was a kid, and I saw Richie Rich with the Rolls Royce and the doors, and you know what I mean, just the um The white boy. When I saw Richie Rich, the way the kid was living, man, as a kid, I just knew I was, that's how I, I deserve to ride in the double R. You know what I mean? For me, I just, that's how I wanted to, you know, that's how I wanted to come. And um, so when you got certain goals that cost a lot of money, you work toward them goals to get it, you know what I mean? And, and every like goal, like I said, man, every goal I said I wanted to do, I did. I just wanted a gold album. Yeah. And the Leprechaun, you know what I'm saying? I'm two, three million on that independent and then got the deal and you know what I mean? So, so, and then what people don't know, I'm a hustler, so I'm like, man, nigga, I, I want a gold album, nigga. So I know, I'm like, nigga, you drop a double album, it counts us twice. Right. So I'm like, I drop a double album, nigga, all I gotta sell is 250,000 and I'm gold, nigga, and I'm cool. The Leprechaun got his gold, nigga. And so, um, nigga dropped it and we, we sold a real million, so, so everything counts twice when you drop a double album. So, mm. And it, it's, it's a blessing, man, having that hustle, man, having that hustle. That's hard. From that stand. From that stand. Real. The Leprechaun. Yeah, man. Still the test of time, man. Some bangers on there. Classics. Still in it. Still in it. What, what does the leprechaun represent for you? I'm born in March, March 3rd. I'm from a hood called Cloverland. My favorite series was uh, Lucky Charm. <laughs> uh, I used to watch the leprechaun movie all the time. You know what I'm saying? And you like my, potatoes. My, um, I like potatoes, but that ain't the one of the Jack. reasons. The, the leprechaun like potatoes in the yeah, movie. Yeah, I, I like me gold. Yeah, I want me shilling. Yeah, yeah. You I don't want, know why? I, I want the gold, man. Why the leprechaun like potatoes? Because the Ireland, then you don't remember like the famine in, in Ireland of all the people who were starving and shit, and the potatoes say they like. Man, come on, Jack, you need to study. Up. God damn. I mean, that's the brief version God of it, but damn. yeah, they like they was something happened and all the food got fucked up, the famine, mm -hmm. and they the, the potatoes is what saved the whole country. You a bad motherfucker. I know this, and I tried to tell you this. I told you we two of the coldest motherfuckers ever come outside. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. Straight up. Hey, dog, I, I, I learned that back in the fourth grade, and I don't know why I ain't never put two and two together. <laughs> the leprechaun from Ireland. 
I just want me gold, man. Then get your gold, get your chips. What old schools you got right now, Flip? I know you none. got at least one. You got none? None, I like. You done with them? Yeah, man. Damn, like, we lost another one, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I, I ain't done with them forever. I'm done with them right now. Okay, okay. Like I'm on some, like my organization is called Art of a Drugs Movement, and we teach kids how to act, play instruments, and paint. That's dope. Yeah, Cause you're an artist too, girl. Correct, I paint this. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. And y'all know who got the most fire merch in the game. 85 and poor minds, of course. Period. So y'all been asking about our rap tees that we had on tour for the longest. Our tour tees and the rap tees. They are both on the site right now available. Y'all go ahead, go to buypoorminds.com and get your t-shirts before they sell out. Yes, and also y'all know it's about to get cold outside and 85 just dropped some fire merch for the women. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they got that all brown fit, the all blue fit, the red. It's going super, super crazy. So make sure y'all go to 85 apparel.com and get you a fit. I'm telling y'all, it's super comfy. It's airport outfits. You know, a little sneaky link outfit. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. And I'm telling y'all, they are not restocking this, okay? It's exclusive for this season. So make sure y'all go to 85apparel.com buypoorminds.com and get y'all merch right now. Yes. What's up, world? It's your boy Chico Bean. And in case you haven't heard, we at the 85 South Show have launched our own independent streaming service called Channel 85. And for our loyal supporters, we're currently offering 20% off for six months. Just use code 85%. That's P E R C E N T E E R 85%. And you'll get 20% off for the first six months. Now, once you sign up, you'll get access to the podcast a whole day earlier than everyone else on YouTube. All of our new live shows, independent specials, new shows like 5 on the 85, and even get special offers and discount codes for 85 South Show merchandise and shows. It's only $8.50 a month or $8. $85 for the entire year. And you can find us online at channel85.com or on your iPhone, Apple TV, Amazon, Fire Stick, and Roku. And it's even on Android for all my people with the green text. And remember, use code 85% for 20% off for a whole six months. That's channel85. Subscribe right now. Bowling. As well, and draw. And so. Like all my jewelry and all that tattoos, yeah. Um, and I'm designing the jerseys for my high school, Worthing, and building the studio there so the kids can record. And the program we got going, like my Auto for Drugs movement, and then, you know, also 50, he got his G Unity Foundation. So he do a lot of stuff with my high school as well. Word. So, yep. yeah, so we, we got different stuff going on, but I'm actually building a studio. And shout out to 50 Cent, man, for doing a lot of shit for my city, my age town. Congrats on getting the keys to the city. Shout out to 50. Uh, you know, he, he, always, he always had love for his time, so salute you, man. You know what I'm saying? He came yeah. to the show I had in Houston, a couple of them, I think. Yeah, yeah, fifth real, man. We've we been through similar shit. We be having side conversations, and you know what I'm saying? We and him went through similar shit, and you think about all the shit he went through, and think about all the shit I went through, and nigga, we still standing, nigga. Yeah. We still standing and we still showing motherfuckers that we think outside the box. You know what I mean? Like even with this Funge and Flip album, this might, you know how like people rank Jay-Z albums and they like, yeah, my, my favorite Jay-Z album is Blueprint, but then it's Reasonable Doubt, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it flip flops sometimes, but it's, it's Blueprint, you know what I'm saying, then Reasonable Doubt. Yeah. But this particular album right here, Funge and Flip, man, I, I went into a, a different bag of, I just wanted to experiment a lot, and I, I, I met this band called Them Roots Music, and um, they gave me like some reggae vibes, and that's one of the beats that I put Devin the dude on. So it's a lot, of, it's a lot of live instrumentation on this album, and this right here, you know, I consider this 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 my blueprint, cause every record on this motherfucker, like I'm spitting, and it's all different. Okay, like I got man. some drill on there, you know what I'm saying? I got some I drill, just, man. I got some some violence. Man, you know, oh, shit. I got some shit on there, man. We in America, you know, we love some good old violence. Yeah, man. So shout out to everybody. Especially in our entertainment. Speaking of the other bag, bro, stop you got this popcorn, man. Yeah, stop the violence, for real. <laughs> yeah. Entertainment purposes only. Bro, what's yeah. this right here, though? Uh, man, shout out to my guy, Champ, man. There's some candy I, I popcorn? Up, yeah, clover green apple. I'm excited about this. I'm about to try this shit. Yeah, man. 
Cause if my know if my nigga DC was here, he'll bust this shit wide open. Spill yeah. half of it, eat the other half. <laughs> you know he would. What you, what, you, what, what, you, what you got in here, man? What's inside of these? Man, this is just some celebratory joints that I rolled on the way here. Let me see, man. What, what my guy got? Mm, more than welcome to a, a little ugly joint, if you like. Well, they got the filter, my friend. Mm-hmm. So, I'm up they, 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 that. so it's candy apple corn. Correct. Green apple. Take some of yours. Hold your hand out. I know you've been digging. <laughs> nah, there we go. There we go. And um, these are edibles. No, I ain't no. Nah, nah, ain't nothing in it. Oh, this regular popcorn. Yeah. I could have been eating this the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, I was scared. So Tell what about the soda? Some of this shit. <laughs> nah, you you playing? You playing Jane? I'm playing Jane on the soda too. Everything. Nah. I could have been drinking the soda. I told you. You ain't say that. Yeah, you had asked him before I came. You asked Pillar. He didn't say. He, he did not get back with me. You didn't get back with him. Well, he, you, he never got back with it's me. Never too late. It's never too late. Hey, I thought he was playing. I thought you played me for real. I ain't gonna even front. Now he had told me. But nah, we <laughs> don't just, This shit good. We don't I just go around with. passing the passing the. This is a candy the, apple. Passing the mud. I, you get some mud. You get some mud. Nah, nigga. Nah, <laughs> nah, Jack. Hey, bro, I was scared. Don't be scared. What you think, Jack? Bone Crusher say he ain't never scared, nigga. So you can't be scared, nigga. Shout out to my guy Crusher too. I was on his album. That was good, man. Ripping the Grain remix. I got to get a plaque for that. His album went gold. See? You plaqued up now. Yeah, that's one I need to get. Hell yeah. Look, they got a lot of rumors out about your longest freestyle. Yeah, I want to hear from you. What's your longest freestyle? I think I thought this shit was lame, bro. Probably <laughs> driving. Well, yeah, we, it was it was like not. Matter of fact, we, like we was going to Jackson, was like I think it was like eight hours from H Town, and then I think we went to Louisiana. Like it was like an eight or nine hour drive. I was going somewhere, and um, motherfucker, we just freestyled literally the whole way, like the whole way, just on some every bit of like six hours. You know what I mean? Every bit, just we just. Yeah, the, the great old days. Some people say the good. Nah, she was greater. Great. That's hard. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another rendition. Man, we got this tour called the Ghetto Legends, man, and that's all we've been bringing through the trap. Now you are definitely. Certified ghetto legend. Give me one of your most ghetto legendary moments. I would say. Where you've just felt like this is it. I'm a, I've made it. Look at this shit. Man. It's, it's like <clears throat> two moments when DJ Screw put me in the screwed up click. You know, rest in peace to DJ Screw. He did. Crazy. When he put me in a, yeah, he on, he on your soda, man. Rest in peace to DJ Screw. Yeah, yeah. Exotic pop shit. When he put me in a screwed up click and um, gave me my Freestyle King plaque, that's one. And then when my OG C-No from my neighborhood put me on a record called Diamonds in Your Face, and the same guys that sing, singing on uh, Boxers, Trojan, that record, they're singing on Diamonds in Your Face. And um, that, that's how they did the record. And These diamonds all in mm -hmm. your face. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, my OGs, they, they, they put me on with that, and um, we just... Man, it's sort of good. I tried to tell you that earlier. <laughs> I was scared, bro. I was scared. I ain't know what we been at with this shit. Why, man? Because we had some more shit to do. <laughs> nah, man, you, you good, man. Yeah, but... <laughs> I ain't gonna do you like that, man. No, it is, it is good, though, man. And This shit don't even flat as hell. You like got that. good products, bro. I got great product. I apologize. Yeah. Thank you. I never disrespect you like that again. Nah, no, no, I'm just, I, I believe in myself, you know, on a higher level than anybody, so don't feel, nah, I didn't feel disrespected. It's phenomenal. Know? I'm just letting you know, yeah. you know, like when you think about it. Told you, think man. Think about this logo right here, bro. Jack a different case. Everybody you know, 
has had this logo. Mm. We've given different drinks out to different artists, a lot of artists that's not here no more, like the Fat Pats, the Screws, the Big Moes, um, the Hawks, like, and then, like, if you read on the back of the bottle, like, a percentage of this goes to helping their community and as well as their family. So even though Big Mo and DJ Screw not here, we still got these drinks being sold and portions of this is helping their family and shit. So Keeping that at shit the end going. of the day, you know, Screwed Up Click is a brotherhood and, and somebody got to, you know what I'm saying? Fall in the gap, man. Yeah, and, and spread the generation of wealth. So when years and centuries go by, people are like, oh yeah, the Screwed Up Click, you was in the Screwed Up Click, yeah, my uncle, my grand. And you ain't got nothing to show for it, you know what I mean? But nah, we got to, nah, we got to have some schools and some parks and some, some playgrounds Leave and some music. Yeah, so, you know, I'm in the process of doing all those things. I'm just one of them niggas, I just rather do it. That's why I made the song, I can do that. I just rather do it and get to it. You know. It's a drunk off one bit. I can do that. Hey, so inside of that, uh, your, uh, your initiative with the kids and whatnot, are you also doing something with teaching them how to freestyle? Cause you know, the, 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 like I'm, I'm taking something from what you guys right. just taught me tonight. Yeah. And I'm very confident in the next time that I'm uh, able to, you know, uh, <laughs> facilitate my uh, my talents. Okay. That it's gonna people gonna be impressed. Uh, but I, that hurts your walk alignment. And the PJs with the pajamas, I feel like I'm on to something. Okay. Keep doing and because I felt that I feel yeah. it was a, it's a spirit going on okay. right here. Yeah. It's some greatness going on right here. And I felt like y'all gave me them punchlines. You know man. what it was? I caught that shit right out Divine there. Divine intervention. Mm. Yeah. It was going to have to happen. Mm. Yeah. Can't avoid that. If you was to make your own lucky charms, what would be the marshmallows? Jack, what the fuck? What would be the marshmallow? Oh, hold on. Man, I, 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 I y'all don't add, eat Lucky Charms? I would add a gold coin. There ain't no gold coin in there. Hearts, mother. clovers, and balloons? I, I mean, I put a gold coin. I let it go, you know what I'm saying? Since it ain't one. Yeah. Make the gold coin be the soft and t make the clover like hard. Because, yeah, ain't no. Ain't we ain't soft in the bad. clover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like that. Yeah. I would like to have a little cereal for black children. Like, what would it be? Soon as you think you out of the cereal, yeah. it's a little bit more on the bottom. It's about a bowl and a half left on the bottom, like a stash. Like a reserve? A yeah. Hola. But just like sealed off, like. Yeah. To hide it from the rest of the family. Oh, love. What's the route you gonna go? You gonna go like the cinnamon route? You gonna go the marshmallow route? No, you because go I the think. chocolate route? No, I wanna show them something different. Because I think they've been trying to feed black people too much sugar too early in the morning. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, just knowing what I know about my people, I feel like after a certain age, you don't, you know, you want to move to like, you know, a, a flake or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like after a certain age, hey, it's, right. as, as, as risky as it's going to get, is a frosted flake, you right. know, because it's stable. And then, you know, every every green moon, blue moon, you, you know, you'll step, throw yeah. something in there. Yeah, you know, step you, up. You know. Yeah, but it's still going to be like an old school Fruit Loop type something, you know what I mean? Something mm -hmm. kind of safe around there. A round flake. I don't know. I want to have me some cereal. I, like, if I had my own Lucky Charms, guess what my marshmallows would be? What? <laughs> stimulus checks. Hmm. I thought it was going to be a cigarette lighter. I was going to say the stimulus. Stimulus checks. Hmm. Brown envelopes. I like Real it. Yeah, like, that's a song. Brown <laughs> envelopes. That's a shirt. Yeah, that's that government brown money. Yeah. Brown envelope. Brown, brown envelope. There you go. Woo! Or, or what about a Cash App logo? Nah, Cash App a scam. Cause they start making us pay taxes. Nah, it's gonna feel like you scamming, trying to get people's Cash App. See, right? Cause don't nobody want to give you the Cash he's, App he's, unless you finna send them the money right see, in front of them. You think? Yeah, yeah. Some niggas don't think. That's why I fuck with y'all. Nigga tried to get me one day on on Twitter. They got you. No, they miss me. They miss me. <laughs> no, nah, because I remember you called me talking about, man, ignore that shit on Cash App. I ain't that Kroger. I don't need no hundred and twelve dollars. I was like, Jack, you keep some shit going on, bro. Give me your top five freestylers that you know personally, Flip, that you seen do it. That you like, that nigga be going on. Hmm. 
It's a lot of them out there. That's why this is a hard question. You know, I had to make the shit a little difficult. I would say, um, I gotta say, Pokey, Kiki. Hell yeah. Don Key. Pat. Yeah, me. Uh, if I ain't in it, you know, then you put zero in it. Okay, bet. Like the yeah, the five I know. You said five I know. That's bad. Yeah, you know, like, and I've had real like you know sessions with with them. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> sometimes some of the freestyles that y'all get like with cameras rolling ain't the same shit that be happening behind the scenes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we can be even more raw and not have to filter. So it be right. some bars and some shit said that, you know what I mean? It's just mm -hmm. all off the top, but niggas be going into a higher level with that Bruce Leroy Shogun glow. You know what I mean? So I've seen the different, I've had ciphers with these people and you know what I'm saying? And you know, seeing where they mind, we have lyrically sparred and you know what I'm saying, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, we had some some great bar for bars. Yeah. Hey, what's up, World Friday, February 17th. We back at 8 o'clock. North Charleston Performing Arts Center in North Charleston, South Carolina. That's where I'm gonna be at. Cause big city women take that bra off every day at the same time. 527. 545, don't matter what he had in the world, that bitch coming off. Sit in traffic, ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Pull that bitch out the sleeve. <laughs> then the first thing they gonna do is scratch under that titty. <laughs> Ooh, shit! You know why they do that? Cause big titties itch on the bottom. <laughs> Little titties itch on the top. So uh, everybody in Chuck Town, Go ahead and grab those tickets and come pull up on me at 8 o'clock, man. If y'all still pulling up around 8 o'clock, we'll wait a little bit. But, you know, it's black people time, so don't even worry about it. I know how y'all get down in South Carolina. You did Rap City the Basement. You did. What up, Tiggy? Bruh, let me, let me tell you something. You definitely in my top five on Rap City the Basement, bruh. Thank you. You killed that shit. And I, don't, I think you underrated on that. I'm underrated on a lot of shit, but I'm overpaid, so... I don't give a fuck. There you go. I like <laughs> you know that. what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and it's cool because a lot of times, though, sometimes it's like a church, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a lot of flip fans. It's a lot of niggas that's inspired me by me, but they, you know, for whatever reason, you know, they they grew out of it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or for whatever reason, you know, it's cool. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, once you you know, fuck with other shit and fuck with other artists and <clears throat> get to see how they evolve and what they evolve to. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It come back to saying, you be like, damn, that nigga been the same the whole time. That nigga, yeah. I don't follow the herd. I don't feel like I gotta be at every award show. I don't get pissed off if I don't get nominated for Grammys and all of, you know, politics that go with the music. I care about the art. <clears throat> Being able to put my shit out like I want to put it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that said, it's like a, you know, a pastor, you know, you having a congregation, some of your church, people move out of town, you know, people go here, some people come back, some people leave the church, you feel me, come back. So yeah. whether you was a Flip fan then, or uh, now, or uh, whatever, it don't matter. I'm, I'm grateful either way because I started making music for God mm. and it's for the art, so. I'm smart enough and got enough things going on. I don't have to continue to put out music, but when I hear people tell me, hey, this song got me through this, like I got a record on Underground Legend Kyle, um, I should have listened. <clears throat> and I probably had like two, three million people walk up to me and be like, bro, that record, bro, got me through this, nigga. And then I had a lot of parents, millions of parents come to me. The song, um, Make Mama Proud, I play that for my song. You yeah, when my son acting up, you see Lil Flip wanna make his mom proud. You know what I'm saying? So rest in peace to my mom too, Mary. So it's like, when people come to me and talk you know, to me about what they like from my, my catalog and all that, when I'm working on my next music, I make sure 
it's records on my projects that's talking about, you know what I mean, real life. Like, sometimes rappers get in the studio and want to be the superhero, like they ain't having no bad day, or, you know what I'm saying? Every day is just perfect. Like, nigga, damn, you ain't have, you ain't had no flat tire today. Mm. Your partner ain't getting locked up. You, you feel what I'm saying? Your phone ain't get cut off. Or you, nigga, what you really going through? No, so mm. every day is just perfect for you, right? That ain't my Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a rooster in a Ferrari, though? I ain't have no chicken or a hen. Right. But yeah, Tabernacle. You lying, get what I'm bro. saying? He lying. He just wants you to feel sorry for him. I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's not working. Nigga did that, bro. It's all good, My though. son works. And so let me ask you this, man. When you, those that uh, definitely was flip supporters, mm. that, you know what I'm saying, also rappers and stuff too, when it was on their way up and then they came on down and then they tried to come back to the congregation mm -hmm. and whatnot, did you say, look at your bitch ass? <clears throat> um, or did you just was like, you know, it, hey man, it's okay. It's a, it's a, it's a case by case scenario <laughs> depending on what they did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But That's a good know, question for Carlos the, too. The Bible say he'll make your enemies your footstool. Mm. So, it's been a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, that, that that's flip fans and really flip fans and, you know, have conversations and like, yeah, we fuck with flip, but they won't say it publicly because of whatever reasons, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's cool because at the end of the day, man, when people look at my art and just see what I bring to the table and that I care about the quality over quantity and I'm always about uplifting motherfuckers and, and I'm, I'm just strictly about my business, man. They go see, man. So, you know, like I say, I'm, I just wanted a gold album, and I'm at 25 million albums sold. Damn. So, I ain't, and I ain't sold my soul. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Priceless. That's, yeah. that's a lot of fucking albums. I'm trying to get my soul back right now. Man, get it, get it Nobody back. Nobody ever gets it back, Jack. <laughs> that's the deal? <laughs> Hell yeah. And the motherfucker you sold it to, he ain't never gonna give it back. Just, it is what it is. He don't even want it. He just gonna wipe his ass with it. He go, nigga gonna wipe his ass with my soul. <laughs> who know, oh, who knows? Eternity, Jack. Uh, my, uh, my soul smell like shit. I man. told you not to do it. No, no. Yeah. Stop, man. Hey, you hey, can't. Oh, even, don't even talk about up. shit like that, cause people <laughs> watch this on the internet and get the research and shit and. To find out where my soul letter and see who hey, got man. it. Somebody call you back and they gonna oh, scam me. Jack, I can get it back. All I need is $700. Can't check it. And your ass gonna do it. <laughs> hey, that's a good deal right there. I take that for the $700. He gonna get it out the trunk of the get Ferrari. my soul back. He gonna get it out the trunk of the Ferrari. Man, he got money. I don't, don't let nobody. He full of shit, bro. I know him for real. Where that Ferrari at? He got mm -hmm. over. You gonna get that $700 out the trunk of the Ferrari? Man. So what you drive? What you got? What? I got dropped off. Man, ask you a question. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, he can't drive, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He I'm, I'm on the passenger drive. side of my when best friend. When you was driving, what, what, the last car you had, what you had? Oh, I had a, oh, a 98 Chrysler LeBaron. Okay. <laughs> Supercharged. Super. Supercharged. Yeah. Rag top, don't stop. Supercharged. Mm -hmm. Turquoise. You remember that color? No, thank you. Don't, no, say, no. Say no. He just, he, he just sure. remember the Buick Regal I had. <laughs> oh, shit, Jack. I Shut had a Volkswagen Jetta, too. How, how long y'all been knowing each other? <laughs> we, we going on 20 years now. OK. Next year, about 20 years. Oh, shit. <laughs> For real, though. Where, where y'all meet? Oh, man, that's some fucking um, comedy shit. At Uptown Com No, no, Punchline. At the, the Punchline. Punch where? In what city? In, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay, I uh, read it. Bro, this is probably one of the first motherfuckers I met in Atlanta. Real shit. I met this nigga when I was just... I just thought I could just show up and do comedy one time. Yeah. At an audition. Good thing I didn't audition. They might have fucked my whole career up. But I met a whole handful of motherfuckers. And mm. I just been knowing them ever since. He's a beautiful person, man. That's some weird go. shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Y'all niggas crazy. I know him ever since I was a little boy. I love him dearly. <laughs> <laughs> Stop lying all the to. Hey, man, this is my last time bringing him. <laughs> that nigga crazy. That popcorn hitting different, though, man. 
Thank you. This is the only flavor yeah, you got? The That's the only one I'm pushing right now. But uh, I got some more flavors coming. We we did that to to go with the release of the Leprechaun 2 album. Right. Which was going to be my last album. But uh, my grandma and my mom, before they passed, it was like, what you mean that's your last album? Hell no, drop album forever. Fuck yeah. this shit. Well, I, I be working on, I'm working on a film called King Life, so I would still go do music, but they was go hit on my movie soundtracks. But right. my granny like, nah, you gotta still do what God gave you. So yeah, that's yeah, what they do. told me while they was, you know, well, before they both passed, you know what I'm saying? And, I tell every uh, artist that come on here, man, make music forever. Shit, as right. long as these motherfuckers alive, they gonna wanna hear that shit. Nah, gu Guns and Roses and that's what I'm saying. All these people, they tour till it's the Rolling old. Stones yeah. is a hundred years old, still out there. Out there, mom Nelson, jeans on. All them, yeah. So two that, million a show, and that's Come what on. they be doing though. They try to, you know, dispose of hip hop, like you know, but hey, people like Snoop and and Cube and all the, you know, the Ice T's, the people, the elder statesmen that are still. You know, doing stuff, whether it's Flavor Flay, whether it's TV or music or Ice T acting, and you know, they're basically showing like, nah, you can stay relevant. Come on, man. Snoop got to do, make some noise. Snoop did the Super Bowl, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Dre, shout out to Dre, M, 50, everybody who performed, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick, yeah. you know, like, man, so we, we really do the thing. Never thought of candy popcorn, bro. Hey, we from the home of the candy paint. And the candy sense. popcorn. Makes sense. Make it make sense. Okay. Are up. you the first black leprechaun? Hey, man, say, man. I ain't gonna say I'm the first black leprechaun, but I'm the first motherfucking <laughs> motherfucker to say that shit and to live that shit. And, like, you know, with a leprechaun, you, you know, you watch the movies, right? I love the movies. Yeah, but, you know, but, like, we was cool long as you don't play with a nigga go. 100%. And then when you play with the go, on your way. Yeah, you know, so leave the leprechaun alone, man. He just be chilling. I just want to get money stay out the way. That's all he want. Favorite color green. Favorite color your, green. All your cars green. Nah, my favorite color green because of the clovers and me being born in March and St. Patrick's Day and me being from Cloverland and, uh, you know, clovers. That's my neighborhood, Cloverland. Mm. But my, nah, my neighborhood, Botany, you know, we got a thing called Botany Black where everything was black. You know what I'm saying? It also go with my Black Panther upbringing as well. So, mm. you know, shit. Was your daddy a Black Panther? Or nah, nah, my, my uncle. Got you. Yeah. Mm. So, you know. You ever got a chance to even uh, do you tell you like a track Brown stories or U.P. Newton stories? I plead the flip. Got you. I plead the flip. Dude. Just know I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> we just look smarter than a motherfucker, man. Nah, I'm tatted up, braids. <clears throat> you know, I look like the typical stereotype. Nah, bro, you don't but age. But when I talk, oh yeah, I'm a vampire. Vampires, we don't age, man. So you playing, bro? People gonna hear this shit on the internet. I know, you know what I'm saying. But nah, you know, <laughs> that's what I be telling. Them. Yeah, nah. I can see it on the conspiracy theory page now. Lil Flip admits to being a vampire. <laughs> Watch this clip. The nigga gonna be sitting there pointing at you. Watch this clip. <laughs> Watch this the clip. vampire that didn't I tell you? That didn't drinks I tell you? exotic pop. I told you the people who make music and run the music industry is vampires, my nigga. And we drink exotic pop. Come on, man. Now blood. Now blood. We drink exotic pop. Stop, man. You gonna have motherfuckers looking up shit, Flip. Nah, it's all good, man. They look it up. Just look it up. You a vampire for real? Not like literally, but my 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 Your spirit. My my spirit. My work. My, my, I come alive more, like, there's less people moving around at these hours. Like, in H-Town, like, the shit that I was into and the people that I was around, like, it was certain night places. Shit. Yeah, nightlife shit that, like, the underworld go to, you know what I'm saying? And you can't be no hoe and be at these places and maneuver with, you know what I'm saying, jury and, you know, different things of that nature. And, right. Like, so just the whole being able to be in that and absorb that, what America, you know, portrayed to me, like, you have to go to bed and get up from nine to five and work. This is the, like, those are the hours that they programmed that if you're not doing nothing at that, those hours that you're not doing nothing positive. This is the only way. So when I was able to just to see, like, damn, nigga, we at Screw House at three, four in the morning, five in the morning, we creating. Like, nigga, this is, I love these hours. Like, ain't no traffic, nigga. What's so bad about these hours? And, and for me and to make- And you can get some breakfast. Man. 
Yeah, yeah we, we be too many crackheads out there, man. Yeah, but we be in. We ain't trying to just be out. It's just right. those hours, I don't know, nigga. It's just, and then when you see the sun come up, you're like, yeah, nigga, it's time to go to bed, nigga. Then you wake up, you get back to it again. When vampires get to come out in the daytime, I'm gonna fuck with it. That's what they're gonna scare you, though, because I was on here talking some shit like that one time, and then the motherfucker posted a picture of me from goddamn 1800s, and I was like, oh shit. Man. They gonna find that picture of you of me from in the <laughs> three, four lifetimes ago. Little Flip was not lying. He, here he is in 1695. Oh, hey, <clears throat> find me, man. I wanna see that shit. <laughs> Hopefully that's somebody I'm really keen to. Oh man, they gonna find your your, your person. Walking to a vampire, that's kind of cold. <laughs> we need more shit like that though, so black people can get our chance to use our imagination. They got the white girl got buffed in vampire sled. I but miss her, man. Where is so the black much. girl version of that? <clears throat> we gotta make it. Hey man, Saturday, February 18th at 8 o'clock, we will be at the Johnny Mercer Theater in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, big Johnny Mercer Theater. I feel like you got to say that. Later with the eye patch, go over there and see if them niggas gangsta. <laughs> I believe you the toughest bitch in here. I just, I just feel like you can have any bitch selling pussy in two weeks. <laughs> What's your name? Pearly? Aloysius? Yeah, that bitch done sold some pussy before. <laughs> She the type of person, fuck people, bitches, dudes, whoever. Just Aloysius. Woo! She got a strap on with some real foreskin on it. Grab those tickets, pull up on me. You already know how we do, man. Savannah, what y'all waiting on? Grab the tickets. We're trying to sell out right now. So by the time you see this, the tickets need to be halfway gone. Get yours. Go get them. I'm waiting on you. We got enough vampires. Gotta make it. I want to just see the black kids version of Harry Potter. We gotta make Some it. Little black kids start out knowing magic we and gotta shit make it. all in the hood. Why, why, why don't we make it? Come on. The black Star Wars. Gotta make it. On the darker side of the galaxy. Hey, Come on, the, now, don't the, forget the, Billy D. Williams now. Hey, the black and white chicks. But black chicks, though. You like, you know what I'm saying? Imagine how they did a white chicks movie, but right. imagine black chicks, like, you know. All right, let's make it controversial, though. Two white girls, and they both got <laughs> black kids. Like yeah. two up and coming rappers. And still call it black chicks? Call it white chicks. No, we can't call it white chicks. They got a white chicks out. But I'm just saying, we do a reverse. Whiter chicks. White, <laughs> white <laughs> chicks. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like just something that's like remake a comedy. I got an idea for a comedy, but I ain't gonna say it on the show. Oh, okay. I got a you bunch know. of ideas for yeah. a comedy. Well, let's not say any more on the show, because, okay. you know, they can be like, you said it on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta bleed the flip. Yeah. I wanna see a New York undercover in Atlanta. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit'll be cold as fuck. But don't nobody wanna play the police right now. You wouldn't play the police right now, bro? Hell yeah, I told you a couple episodes. I would love to play an asshole cop that solve all the murders. By myself, I'm going to get. You don't See, want no partner. My character, he this close to getting fired. But I'm the only motherfucker at the shit that knows something. I got very unconventional methods, hmm. but they still work. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm the only motherfucker on the force that responds to like, like community acceptable ass whoopings. Who, who was the coolest black cop? The cover on TV. 
Eddie Murphy, man. Uh, Axel Foley. Oh, you talking about, yeah. I, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. The motherfucker from Sanford and Son with the, uh, yeah, the, the daddy from 227. Lester. Lester. Yeah. He fuck with Lester. Mm-hmm. Or Carl Winslow. Carl Nothing Win- about Carl cool. Winslow said police ass Carl nigga. Cool. Yeah. Like, at the crib, he was Carl Winslow, editing them daddy. Yeah. But we don't know how many motherfuckers. He was in Chicago, too? What if Carl Winslow was there the day Larry Hoover got locked up? Because they never told us how long he was on the force, and clearly he had seniority, because when you seen somebody tell Carl what to do? Free never. Larry Hoover, too. Free Larry Hoover. Free, uh, free everybody who, ain't, who yeah. need to be free. In real mm-hmm. life. Free all who need to be free. Free Rilo. Yeah, yeah. Free er- send everybody home. Yeah. Niggas get, get the point. Yeah. Fuck with that judge say, ain't nobody finna do all that goddamn time. Let a nigga go home. For real though. Free all Kelly, man. Shut the f Jack. No. 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 Jack. Man, die, I wanna hear Chocolate Jack. Factory Fold. Jack, stop, man. Okay. Right. Can't free every fucking body, man. Shit. Some people gotta stay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people got to fucking Well, at least that. get the nigga a studio inside jail. Can we do that? Can no, we man. Yeah. We're not going to do none of that shit. <laughs> it's stupid, dog. I told you, man. Look, no, Jack. <laughs> nothing, none of that's going to happen. We don't want to hear from him ever again. I mean, <laughs> man, this nigga is hell. You do your thing, but I can't promote that on this platform, Jack. Like boss talks, say, get your people. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Yeah, man. I, I officially diagnose you with just be mute, Social anxiety mute, mute thriller. Disorder. Be mute thriller. I now ordain you mute thriller. He got social anxiety disorder, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no help for you, man. It's over for me. Yeah, man. We gotta check him in the nearest padded room. Call Ryan, tell Ryan to go. Y- y'all saying whatever y'all saying what y'all saying right now, <laughs> but I bet y'all still got this nigga in your playlist. <laughs> Stop it, Jake. No, we don't. Not on purpose. This nigga is stupid, bro. <laughs> saying, nigga, like, what type of nigga go through his shit and delete some shit? For real. <laughs> If it's man, just so happen to pop up. We are, when, you, when you actually sat down and went through some shit and deleted something in mass. I don't remember. Nigga, you pull up your iPhone right now, you probably still got three, four hundred songs by dude. Man. On that bitch. Even ones you didn't even know it was his is on there. Hmm. Easy. Easy. Look, you fucking with the digital world, man? Yeah, man, I'm... Fucking with a lot of different things that are metaverse and all metaverse. that. Shit. I'm about to do a concert in the crypto. metaverse. Crypto. We got the Joe Sun Empire. The Joe Sun coin. Need company. to get a crypto, bro. Call that shit Lepra Coins. That's crazy. Mm. Damn. Hey, well, let's. You just you came up with that, dude. Let's. Yeah, man. Let's go. Let's uh, let's do it together. But right now, I do have some uh, crypto coming up. Um, the, the Joe Sun coin. So shout out to King Lee, man, you know, my guy. And um, he's just doing a lot of different things, bro, for the world and the community. And it, it's, it's just great to be able to do it. And when I do things, we just do it, man, you know. Some people feel like they got to always call the news. Hey, I'm about to do this. You know It'll be I mean? a hell of a campaign slogan. Yeah, what? When we do things, we just do it. Yeah. Message. Oh, for me. <laughs> I like it. Well, shit, man, we can talk this shit all night. We appreciate all the gifts and the popcorn and weed and game and yeah, man, and the soda, man. man. The exotic pop and what can cup. they get? What can they get some of this? What like exoticpopdistribution.com. We in a lot of states, man, but we just dropped our cream sodas, man. These, these yeah. Like, what, what if you want? If you want it brought straight to the house, y'all ain't know I used to work in fast food, huh? Uh oh. Yeah. So you know, we had that got shit that. back up like it came. You feel me? Networking, man, and Gas Gods, man, my company, man. That you know, we uh partnered up with, man. Now, where is the Gas Gods available? 
Hey, man. <laughs> Cali. San Francisco. So basically, yeah. wherever your marijuana is legal. Correct. We're based out of, out, out of San Francisco, though, man. And I'm just like, I'm about, man, making shit happen, man. Instead of just sitting by, you know, around talking about what you go do, I'm just about making it happen, man. Mm. The only person in your way for you to get to where you need to be is you. And if more of us, especially us minorities, take accountability for whatever place they're in in life, instead of blaming it, I'm like, oh, it's your fault, I ain't making shit. Nah, it's your fault. Come to Yo, Nobody put a key in my back to say, hey, go get with DJ Screw, go, <laughs> go rap battle, go. Like, I, I really got out there and got it. So, you know, I represent the people who go put their hard work in. You work hard so you can work smart, man. If you can do it, yeah, man, I can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it, man. God got us all. I'm Funge and Flip, Mr. Exotic Pop, Mr. Like a Pimp, Mr. Papa Those. Yeah, the Burberry Jag, man, the Throwback King, the one this that makes you niggas way we want to wear yellow diamonds. Yeah, yeah, the Platinum Grill, permanent type shit, Mr. Double Cup. I'll let. I could go on for hours. But look, I know this is your first time in the trap, but it's it's literally the last time in the trap, bro. You helping us celebrate tonight. We getting ready to move to our new studio. Oh, look. Congrats. Congrats. So the whole trip to the trap is complete with our new face mm. bringing some artifacts through here from the little Flip collection. New Face one of the coldest hip hop connoisseurs in the game. For sure. And I know he brought some dope shit. Through First here. of all, I want to do say it's a testament to what he said, the brother. I ran into him at the BET Award. Uh, told him, you know, good friends with Carlos in the 85 South show. He personally gave me his number. Uh, we got it locked in. And he also gave me some of his product. And I took a sip every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? So I Man, got my cool cup juice, cool yeah. Cool cup juice, he gave me I'm that I'm gonna get personally. you out some. So he made sure, he, he did give me that. And that's like he said, memory mm -hmm. of everything. And, and since you are the freestyle king, maybe it's an idea like if I pull something out, you know what I'm saying? You just kind of go off the top of your dome, but I'm gonna just come out, oh, kind of come out with some shit, man. And you just let me know. Oh, it's heavy, it's serious. You know, we got the so I, over. Right. Okay. Ah, you got the lucky charm. You got the, lucky you got the joystick. We got that. You got the first major shit in a different version. Matter of fact, the bootleg. The bootleg That's that. the one I did Double when this. I was fucking with Who Kid. <laughs> what else you got in that bag? A magazine. I forgot I was in that fast. I don't have no copies of that. I remember that picture. I remember that charm, that night I drank some liquor. Hey. And I don't drink liquor like that. I used to take pictures like that. I see the chain, I remember that day. It was a fun day. I be in Miami, like gunplay. Come on. Lil Flip, the G on the cover. I was on straight out of Cashville with Young Bucker. I still got that outfit in my closet. <laughs> My money old, I call it Lou Gossett. See, when I was talking about them jerseys, I was doing it. Bitch, I'm too raw like Eddie Murphy. Come on. Mm, no limit like Percy. Pull a chopper out, she run like she cursy. That's David Banner. That's my partner, he from Jack Time. My name ain't Curtis. I don't back down <laughs> like my nigga Curtis. I don't back down. I'm never ever nervous. I mean, Jack time, that was when Shine was in the States, before he did political, getting paid. Yeah. You gotta feel me. I went to a psychic and said, you gotta heal me. <laughs> so much pain a nigga went through as a youngster. Oscar the Grouch, these rappers in the dumpster. That's Luda, I did chicken and beer. The new crib I bought, I just hit a deer, psych. It sounded good, but it's deer in my crib, in my area. <laughs> I cranked the bass up like a stereo. Yeah. Then show up to the barrier. Oh, then prank call everyone who care for you. <laughs> I remember that cover, nigga. <laughs> That's a 
called Danny Glover, nigga. It was a cold ass day, nigga. That chinchilla was black and gray, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I remember that. This freestyle shit. It's like playing pity pat. Shout out to my partner, D Mills. Free cash star. I went to cat skills. Like Mike Tyson's. I got a new license. I tried to tell him, I'm like M. Bison. Come on. That's my first source cover. That shit was fly. I had a red eye, that's why I had the shades on. Cause I had that purple haze blowing strong. <laughs> I remember that fucking dicky suit. Hey, Pillar, you got that dicky suit. Show it to that nigga. <laughs> that's that motherfucker from that cover, nigga. I'm from H-Time, we ride butter, nigga. Hey. Chopping on blades, we call them cutter, nigga. I'm r r r r rich, did I stutter, nigga? Hey. If I did, nigga, who the fuck cares? A lot of billionaires out here, but who the fuck shares? If I get a bill, I'ma bring my nigga up. Come on. What? Oh, you didn't went back to the days. We see three, two, fifth ward boys and even face. The preview, the diary. Never seen a man cry till I seen a man die. Man, I had this tape like 22 times. That's a classic, nigga. Remember Jesse James? Pull that thing out like he Jesse James. I got a bike made by Jesse James. Yeah. Don't think about it if you think Jesse Lane. Lil' Flip, I keep it go. Oh, he just showed me a picture when I had a fro. <laughs> in the murder dial, who of y'all never heard of y'all? I'm 41, not my curtain call. I ain't gon' hang the mic up. I ain't gon' hang the nikes up. I'm gon' claim the white cup, cause everywhere a white cup. You'll see that motherfucker with me like my twin. Jamming different type of shit like Spraga beans. Yeah. Lottie Dottie. We like to party. My white chick got double D's. I nicknamed her Dolly. Hey, I beg your pardon, I'm eating at Olive Garden. All these rappers, we go put them on a milk carton. If they do a freestyle with a nigga, but I'm in gear one. Niggas say they top, top, top tier, but they in tier one. Nigga, I'm up the upper echelon. I'm an Autobot and a Decepticon. <laughs> nigga, I'm emotionally scarred through the bullshit. Half a tank of gas, but lost, I still keep a full clip. You got to. Gotta keep the clip full, nigga. I'm on that 23 shit, nigga. Big bull, nigga slam on you. Like Onyx, nigga. I used to get the wings, nigga. Ranch at Onyx, nigga, a strip club. Leave a hundred dollars in the tip cup. Yeah. yeah, I really lived and made like a pimp stuff. Had Come bitches on. bringing cash and niggas smoking trash. I told them put that down and come invest in gas. I put them on the kilos and hollered at the Migos. He bought it from Chico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lil' <little> Flip, <laughs> 85 South Show, we out this yeah. week. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Hunter Flip out, man. We love y'all. Thank y'all. Hell yeah, keep Jack right there. We got one. <laughs>